<coughs> I got your picture, I'm coming with you, dear Maria, count me in. There's a story at the bottom of this bottle and I'm the pen. Hello, everybody. Wow. Man, I had a I had a crazy start getting this stream started for some reason. You know, just all sorts of technical difficulties. If only I were, you know, smart enough to, to work a program I've done several times. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, I put the Discord link up at the top, and the closing song um, I got from my Discord, there's an option in there if you want to suggest a song to play. Um, and so... Yeah, I think uh, I think Cozanton suggested it. I don't remember, but that'll be at the end um, to lead us out. So if you want to join it, you can join it. If you don't, you don't have to. No big deal. Okay, hello, Outdoor Loser, Willow Angel. Good to see you. Punk Pansy, uh, Pussy Destroyer, Bunny. Yeah, I'll throw you off a bridge again. I'll throw your spirit, your force spirit off of a bridge. Tickle me shivers. Uh, my best friend in the whole flat world, Clementine. Uh, Paula's Laugh, Pussy Destroyer. I love saying Pussy Destroyer. Uh, Justin McRazors, of course. Justin McRazors. Buongiorno, Paisan. Buongiorno. Into the Unknown. Online Lobster. Please don't boil me. We'll see what happens online. We'll see what happens. Leonardo. Da Vinci. DiCaprio. We don't know. Rachel D's Nuts. And shout out Octopushy. All right. We got we got a lot of calls to get through today. And I got plenty of time. I don't have to be, <laughs> I don't have to be anywhere <laughs> for like six hours. So we got plenty of time. I don't think it'll take that long. We got plenty of time to get through these calls. So here we go. We're on episode 50. Hey, Tracy Hamill. Hello. Hello. 
Hello, Ron. Don't think I'm fake? No. No, I know you're not fake. But I'm tired of your bullshit that you're coming mm -hmm. up with. Well, what's the bullshit about it? Good question. That's shit that you just don't say, Casey. Sounds like Tussle she said it. What do you mean? Take a baby's life. He said he would die for a baby. I found a sick baby right here on the internet in Lewiston. You can die for this baby today. We can set it up for you. I'm finishing up some pineapple. I'll start the game in a minute here. I'm almost well, done. You want me to die? Well, because you want to save this baby's life, right? Mm -hmm. If it, if taking a kidney out of my body would save a baby's life, I would do it. Okay, then if do it. If somebody was trying to kill a okay. baby. Okay. If somebody was trying to kill a baby, I would die to save that baby's life. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Okay, so if the baby... Hey, Skelly Kitten and TKTK101. I love how all of Lauren's positive attributes are, like, intangibles. He's not going to treat you well, right? That's something that you could, like, prove. You know, he's treating me well. He's treating me with respect. He's not going to do that. He's not going to quit smoking. Look, he stopped doing some negative activity that I asked him. Um, he's not going to do that, right? But, hypothetically... I did not see your uh, garlic, Sam Bunny, but I, I want to. Um, hypothetically, he could love you as m more than anyone ever. And hypothetically, I mean, in reality, he tries to harm children in the worst way imaginable. But hypothetically, strictly hypothetically, he would save a child. Here's an opportunity to save a child. Fuck that, right? But hypothetically, he would. Uh, Leonardo, I don't, uh, I, I don't even know what Starfield is. Tell me about it. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe you need, like, a heart. You're like, no. I'm not giving that. Fuck that baby. Hey, Tommy. If it needs a kidney or it be in the process of being murdered, then you would save the baby. So I'm supposed to take my heart out of my own chest and give it to a baby that won't fit in the baby's chest anyway. You don't know that. You can shoot yourself in the head and give it to a baby. Yeah, that won't go. damage the heart. Perfect. You're just, you're just saying some stupid shit. That makes perfect sense. Well, you said you that you'd die, die for a baby. For a baby Lauren. Yeah, yes. Thank you, Casey. Okay, Shay. Casey, you're saying stupid shit and you know you are. I, <laughs> I'm saying stupid shit and to you told me my family would turn into bloodthirsty murderers when you I die. You don't know. Nobody knows. Oh, okay. Well, I know that you said you would die for a baby. Yeah. I there would. We go. You don't know. Oh, shit. It doesn't mean I'm going to. Wait. Doesn't mean I'm going to go to the hospital and give the baby my heart that won't, won't even fit in their chest. <coughs> oh, Lauren. Okay, well, hold on a second. Let me Google. There's a kidney transplant list in Maine. Let me see if I can find you a baby. Oh, I've, I've tried a couple this times already. Oh, Jesus. Maine baby list. Here we go. <clears throat> um, going to be a boy baby or will you only give it to a girl baby? <laughs> Kidney doesn't matter. Okay, just want to make sure. I've, I've tried to do it twice already. Well, here, I'll sign you up. This kid's name is Duncan. That's so cute. I'm waiting to hear back from a friend from my town that I grew up in. Oh, jeez, a friend. Son is, well, he's in his, in his 30s now. 31 mm. or 32, something like that. Yeah, something like that. But he needs a kidney. All right, let, let's put a stop to that right away, Lauren. It's not a friend in your hometown. And I, I don't believe this whatsoever, but come on. A friend? Is, is Does Lauren consider, like, someone he knows a friend? Like, is the is Jen from Walmart a friend to Lauren, do you think? Is that what he means? Oh, that's not a baby, though. That's not a baby, but it's another wife. <laughs> I'll see what oh, I can I'm do, Tommy. Baby, my body so. saved his life. If I take a kidney out of my body to save his life... <clears throat> why wouldn't I do it? Uh, why aren't you? Okay, well, kill on me. this, right here, for Duncan, if you want me, I can send you a picture of Duncan, he's very cute. No, I don't want any pictures of any kids on my phone. Oh, that's yeah, right. That, that's probably a good idea. Um, okay, well, you want me to put you on here? Yeah, a friend in his 30s? Probation's permission for that and all. 30s. Well, did you get you their have. permission when you volunteered for your friend's kidney? Yeah. I, oh. I already told Ashley about about them. 
What did she have to say? Uh, like that? Like that? Well, okay. well then, yeah, were they fine with that? It's for a kidney? Yeah. It's in Lewiston? This kid is in... Presidio. Presidio? Yeah. I think you can still put me in. And my okay. my blood my blood type is all all negative or all positive. I think it's all positive. Well, you have to know for I, sure. So I can I, put you on this list. Well, I can just look on my dog tag. I'm a dog tag. Oh my god, that fucking bed. I can give hey, blood to anybody except AB. Stand out there, loser. Well, we're talking about a kidney. This kid needs a kidney. I know, but that's what. Not every, not every. Oh, there's only one blood type that can do that, and it's, and it's my blood type. I just can't remember if it's negative, all negative, or all positive. I think it's all <coughs> positive. Okay. Um. So another thing I'm I'm seeing on here, in order to donate a kidney, you gotta you you can't be smoking. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Well. For how long? A day? Well, what about your your friend's son? Huh? Huh? He's Does already forgot that lie. Are you gonna? Yeah. Well, if, if they can use my kidney, then I get I get quit. Let me see how long you gotta quit. Okay. Yeah. So you just gotta. It says you should not be overweight to be a donor, and if That's you quit, you must quit before six weeks. You think you can do that for Duncan? No, I think I probably could. Will you? I certainly hope so. His life depends on it. That's the reason why I probably could. What? O negative. O negative, okay. Let me see. Ugh, I should get to... Are you, will you be able to attend a free surgical meeting if you, um, if you qualify to, to donate this kidney? Hey, more crap for put downs and, uh, hey, boo. I think as long, as long as the kid's not there, I think so. <laughs> you don't want to meet Duncan? God damn, Jesus Christ. I know, you know, I say it all the time. Is his bed made out of like uh uh like tin foil? Like what is going on on that bed? How many times he jerked off into that mattress? Wash your sheets. Wash your sheets. In my situation, I can't. I can't. I, unless I have permission from probation. Yeah. Well, I hope they would think you wouldn't rape this kid if you're giving him a kidney. Do what? You, uh, I, I said I hope they wouldn't think you would rape this kid if you're giving him a kidney. Well, I'm no kidding, but... But what? Okay, let's see here. Mm. So, they'll make two or three incisions in Wait, your okay. abdomen. I wonder Sorry? if this happened. I wonder oh, if one followed through. Don't okay. put anything in yet. We'll, yeah, don't put anything we'll in yet. we wait tomorrow. Because I have, I have to... I don't actually want to do it. Talk on, to Mitchell. Mm -hmm. And make sure that he's all right with you putting my stuff on the computer. Yeah, I'm sure that Mitchell would have a huge problem with you donating your kidney. What a fucking idiot. You know, he goes online to search himself. That's not a problem. He doesn't think, you know, maybe that's an issue. An issue. -ish. But, uh, you know, helping a child. You know, well, you know, I got I to gotta make sure. I got to double check with Mitchell. And in there, because that's considered, it's considered me being on the, on the internet without okay. permission by third party. You didn't have a problem okay. with that when you were going online I with mean, your brother. I it's fine Sharon to do stuff like that, because she's designated for oh, years now. Oh, crap. Be doing. Well, can you just, just tell them that? So because I already submitted your blood type and your phone number. Can you just say that your aunt did it? Say that I'm what? I said I already submitted your blood type and your phone number. Can you just say that 
ask your probation that your aunt did it if they call you? Well, you have your, uh, you submitted it already? I just supposed to, was supposed to put all the information in at one time. What do you mean? I just supposed to put all the information in at one time and then submit it. How would you know? Well, yeah, I did. I put in your name and I put in your blood type and your phone number. Put my name in there too. Yeah. She just said that. Yeah. Hey, James. That'll be, that'll be okay, though, right? How would this be an issue? Well, Why would this be a problem? Yeah, I think. I mean, I think yeah. probation will be fine. I think it will. Well, because well, we didn't think about it till till you already yeah. submitted. Yeah. And you're getting a a, a kidney, so. All right. So All this right. is what it says. It says um. <clears throat> so. I've I've been trying to help someone. Yeah, well, this is good. We got Duncan here. How exactly have you been, have you been trying to help them, Juan? Really I'm very curious about that. girl that was on TV, and she was going around the whole country. Oh, a girl on TV. Trying to do something TV. good before she died because she didn't, didn't have a kidney. She couldn't. They couldn't find her a donor for a kidney. Oh, wow. I didn't know how to get a hold of him. To, yeah, you should probably give a little mom. girl a kidney. Wow, wow, you hear how eager he is to give a girl a kidney? Yeah, she was a, she was a little girl. She was trying to do something good before she died. So, why? Why do you remember this? This seems like a very strange thing to remember, Lorne. You seem a lot less, uh, a lot less willing to give a boy a kidney. Why, why is that? Just curious. Curious. Uh. Um, Tommy M., there has been zero and there will be zero because they're children at school. So, that, uh... <laughs> That, uh, that, that closes uh, any possibility of that. Well, here you go. We found one. Um, so, about recovery, they'll have to give you a catheter to drain your urine for the first few hours since you can't get out of bed. The day after surgery, the urine catheter will be removed. It only takes a minute to remove and is essentially painless. Um, the oh, day after surgery, sense. you'll be helped out of bed into a chair, and later in the day, assisted to walk with the help of staff or your family. You will slowly resume eating and drinking. It may take a day or two, um, a day or so to pass gas or have a bowel movement. It is important to take deep breaths in order to avoid lung infections after the operation. A spirometer will be given to you to assist in taking deep breaths. You'll be instructed by a nurse, a respiratory therapist, on how to use it properly. And it says you can expect to be discharged within one to two days, unless you have complications from the surgery. And you can't, you can't... Uh... Lorna is trying desperately right now to do the mental math. Like, you know, how do I get out of this without looking like a coward? Um, you know, is, is case is cachet... Is this worth it? You know, I'll do this when she gets down here, is what uh, is what he's thinking. And, of course, he won't, but that's, you know, he's, he's going to try and leverage this. Well, don't you want to help Duncan? Is it you thinking about Duncan's safety? You need to get down here and help me recover from my surgery. Something like that, um, right? Not lift anything over 25 pounds for the first three weeks. Well, that'd be fairly easy, considering I don't lift anything heavy on my job anyway. Yeah, it says you usually return within two to three weeks, but you just drive all day. You can sit and drive. Yeah, you sit and drive. Yeah, you're not doing anything hard. Um, well, all right, well, you're you're all set. You're all, you're all booked up for Duncan. All booked up for Duncan. Well, providing they even call me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Already casting doubt on it immediately. A lot of people that donate. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, they probably won't even. I mean, let me just see how many supporters there are on this page. I'm just giving. Pedo kidney. So for right now there's six, six people on the list. There's for six people for on the list. Yeah. Did you know that a kidney goes for, on the black market, a kidney goes for around like seventy thousand dollars, at least when I looked it up. It did. I was like, hmm, maybe I'll sell my kidney on the black market. What am I using it for, you know? 
Maybe I'll sell two. That's a good question. Let me see. He is five. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Oh, jeez. That's so sad. Yeah. Yeah, so give him your kidney. So what do you Make it less sad, asshole. You think I wouldn't do it? You Without won't. talk? No, I signed you up for it. Because I knew you were an old talk. You need to quit smoking for this kid, so you should probably stop now. Good, but they gotta call me first. <coughs> yeah. It's time to try some things anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long this kid has, but yeah, hopefully. It's got 45 minutes, Lauren. You gotta get down there quick. Well, he obviously has has a big, so otherwise they wouldn't just put him on the list right now. Yeah, well, you know, time is of the essence, and there's always a reason not to quit smoking. But um, like there's always a reason, to, a good not reason to quit. Right. What? what? Is it like there's always a reason to not come out here and see me? Yeah, turning it yeah. around on her. So you admit it. Yeah. Go figure. Yeah, for me, it's, for me, it's my job. For you, it's a child's life. Yeah, well, the job's almost over, but she came up with a reason. You don't even have a reason to, to not quit or dunk in. Okay, so we were talking about a very serious matter, right? Saving a child's life. And expertly, you know... Lauren has turned it around. Well, you gotta come and see me, just just like I said, just like I said he would. You well, you, well that means you gotta come down and help me out. He can't. It, not nothing can deviate from his focus. You know what he wants. Deny it. You came what? up with the reason. Come, come Don't even deny it. What reason? The reason that you were from the psyche valve. Oh. Uh. That was from something that was from two years ago. <clears throat> Well, you told me that Mitchell will be able to give me all the information, so. Should be a problem. Yeah, I wasn't right? able to, so we'll have to figure something else out. Oh, okay. Okay, just because I told the other one to believe in me, you know, what am I supposed to tell somebody when I'm with them at the time? Not believe in me? Because I'm going to want them to believe in me. You can just not lie. Well... I haven't been lying to you. Well, since okay. Found, That's since not true. That's objectively uh, not true. Since I've been you, I haven't lied to you. Wall, huh? You know the story, the ball, the ball you fried a wolf? Ah, uh, damn it. Yeah, I do. Do you? Yeah. Do you? The crunchy bat again. You already cried wolf to me before with Jamie. I don't think you understand what the story's about because that doesn't make any sense. The boy who cried a wolf kept saying there was a wolf, and everyone exactly. came to check, and then, one day there really was a wolf, and they didn't want to go check, because they, like, you lied too many times, and the wolf killed the little boy and his entire family. I lied to people that were, that were lying to me. They were playing me. Yeah, but you didn't. Okay, oh my very god. Very serious about them. You, Let's get back to Duncan. You didn't know they were playing you. I didn't you didn't know, know they were playing you at the time. Duncan's a very special kid. Me, I didn't know that they were doing some lying. You always got a justification. Yeah. Well, Just because someone weird. does it, that means Lauren can do it. You don't want me to tell you the truth about it? Bold up. About what? Who, who, gives, who gives a shit? Oh, by the way, we're on to episode 51. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Did, did anyone else hear, hear a transition? Who, who gives a shit? We're talking about a child dying. You know, no, no one cares about you being upset that people lied to you. Okay, let's stay on that top. You didn't even deny it. Fuck you. Focus on someone other than you. Someone else is dying, and he can't focus on that for five minutes without turning it back on himself and what he's not getting. Oh, why are you lying? I don't care why you lied. The fact is, you lied to me. I don't care about what what catfishes have done. We're not talking about them. 
I have not lied to you since I promised that I wouldn't lie to you. Okay. Wow. What an excellent sentence. I haven't. Okay. I haven't lied to you since the last time I lied to you. That's always true, which that in and of itself could be a lie, but then he's not lying after this. It's such a useless thing to say. He, he, he gets so mad when people don't believe him, even though he constantly lies to people. He gets upset, you know, why, why aren't people believing me? Yeah, I'm drinking, drinking coffee. Fuck you, fucking liar. There's this, there's this uh, treasure chest over here that I tried to get earlier. Maybe I actually successfully got it, but it's like a, there's like a game-breaking element um, when you try and get it. Let's see if it's still there. No one gives a shit. I don't even know why I'm talking. In the Psyche Veil? There it I is. I really thought that that was the Psyche Doctor saying that. I didn't realize I'm have to that reload it was me the game. Yeah, that. you didn't read it. Yeah, I didn't read the whole thing. I didn't lie about that. I don't lie about that. If I if I really knew that, do you, do you think I'd been been so happy to? Yeah, you got thing? it. It worked. Yay, you should have read it. So huh? You should have read it then. You well, dumbass. I should have, but still, you know, I'm I'm happy that that you read it. I'm happy that I showed it to you. Oh yeah, me too. Because you you're the one that's been. Oh, that's cute. Um, that I feel is, is, is being real with me. I've never I've, noticed this so Easter egg before. You called me like a few seconds ago, but okay. Yeah, well, you were pissing me off, so I decided I'd piss you off too. Well, that doesn't piss me off. If you think I'm fake, then you can go fuck off. I don't give a shit. <laughs> well, that affects you me. more than it affects me, Lauren. You're the one who wants to, to work towards a relationship. Are like you calling me fake? Who is that affect? That makes me not like you even more. So, I mean, keep doing it all you want. Wait, wait a minute, you're turning, you're, you're turning the fucking tables here, Casey, and I see well, exactly what you're doing. Well, there's no tables to turn, Lauren, because I, I, have, uh, I have the whole table. No, we both have the table. We don't have the whole fucking table. Oh, my God. I do, though, because I don't give a shit if you stay. This is another thing that really pisses me off. Like, he has no appreciation. He First of all, he has no appreciation for, like, what probation is and what they do and what his liability in that relationship is. But also, in terms of, like, what he can offer in a relationship, he has no appreciation for the fact that he's starting out not from zero. He's not like, I don't have, I, I have nothing, I have no prospects, I have no money, I have no good looks, I have no anything that a viable partner would want. He, it's not even that he has that, but, like, he brings along, if you are in a relationship with him, you will have to be subjected to the the limitations on your freedom that he is as well. You can't just have children with him. There will be issues in, in that possibility. You can't go to places where there are children. Your, if you live with him, your address will be publicly available. You, your internet, will have to be monitored as well. Like, there are... There are, it's not even like he's bringing zero to the table, he's bringing negative to the table. And he has no appreciation for that situation or what it will cost someone else whatsoever. And he's going to go into this thing here where, you know, we're, we're both part of the table. We both have, no, you don't. You have nothing. You are bringing nothing to this relationship except for a bunch of horrible, horrible anchors that anyone should seek to avoid. And he, he it, I, I don't get how we can't see that. There you go. So there's really no table to turn. I'm, I'm laying down on the table. I've, I've set up shop here. No, we both got the table. You say I you am the table. You say you don't... You are not the table. We both are the fucking table. Why do you not understand that? I do have a choice in what I do. Yeah. I'm not going to let people push me around anymore like they did before with that fucking internet bullshit. Oh. There's always a fucking reason why they don't want to show up. So what do you think it did to me when you came up with the fucking reason on that? I think this is what I'm talking about. I don't care, Lauren, because I'm not them. So anything I know you're not. Any dumb decision you made in your past that got you catfished, is, is not my problem. I know you're I just, not there. I'm not going to say, well, but he's been catfished, so I got to do it this way. I'm going to do it the way I want to do it, regardless of if you've been catfished, and regardless of the past women telling you they'll, they'll go up there, and then they didn't go up there. I don't, it doesn't, 
You know what I mean? Okay. It's, it means nothing to me. Listen. If you don't think I'm real, then, you know, go away. It wasn't that Listen. easy. After, after all the shit that they did to me, and, and, and what you did to me with Jamie, mm-hmm. I, still, I still had it in me to believe in you this time here. Right. So what reason do you have to not believe in me? Because I haven't done anything. Um, well, you're lying. Okay, and you've lied really, to me. I guess. You're just not trustworthy. Really? Because I've been very honest with you since I promised you that I would be honest. Yeah, have you ever heard of the story of the boy who uh, cries wolf? I heard you say that already. Oh, okay. I already used that one. Did you listen? Well, um, you know, if you always lie, you can't... I don't know when you're telling me the truth. Uh, Tommy, um, you can use uh, the Unforgivable Curse. I've unlocked the Cruciatus Curse, so you can kill people, but I don't think that you can kill fellow students. Um, I think that's against their rules. Okay, so why have you lied to me, too? If you know that story... <laughs> yeah, exactly. You're Funk using dancing. it on me, why have you lied to me? Or, rather, he wouldn't say, I deal with it. Um, he'd be like, well, I deal with your bullshit, too. And their bullshit is like, you're a pedophile, I don't want to come to visit you because you're a pedophile. Or something like like, I I don't know. That's why I think Winnie was his favorite relationship because they they were actually on equal terms. Winnie had so much baggage; he could actually you know have some leverage. I'm telling you, if you don't believe what I'm saying to you hey, now, Dan Cubes. then you can leave, and or not believe me. Like I don't believe you. That's your choice. And Jennifer Lewis. Yeah, see, I'm smart enough to know that. You know, a person well, deserves second chances, and that's not doesn't mean smart. that they can act the same way that they did it the first on. But you do. So You've gotten, like, 50 chances to treat, you know, a prospective partner with respect and not scream at them for watching Forensic Files, and you never do it. So it's not about having a second chance. Also, you haven't completed your, like, repentance for the first time. If you deserved a second chance, if you passed your rape class and you were actually, you know, uh, remorseful, like, I wouldn't give you a second chance, and a lot of people wouldn't because your crime is so horrible, but in terms of, like, society, then yes, society would go, okay, you know, you've been on probation for 10 years or whatever, you can appeal it at some point. If you've been doing well, maybe they'll let you off with, like, minimal probation. You'll still be a sex offender, maybe, like, check in once a month or something. Like, there would be limited restrictions on you, and you'd get, you know, essentially a second chance, but you haven't done any of those things. You've done none of the hard work to do that. That time to yeah, think about that worked out for you so far? Giving people second chances, like, like Jamie and Winnie and, and hey, Emma and, and all those people. How, how did that work? I, I mean, how many chances did you give Winnie? I've, I've heard many calls where you break up with her every single day. Didn't work very good with them, but. Oh, damn it. But. 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 You save that's the last. What's that? So maybe it's to save the best for last. What? Oh, okay. So you're gonna give Winnie another chance? You're the last one that gets a second chance. These British people talk a lot. Okay. See, so. Maybe all that was for a reason. But I, I do want to know that if we do wind up working out, that I'm going to be put before, my life is going to be put before money. What the fuck are you talking about? Um, well, how my much money? My life is going to be put before money. It doesn't matter. Well, just give me a number and I'll tell you. I'll put your life before it. Five dollars. No, I wouldn't kill you for five dollars. About five million. Five million? Yep. If you had five million dollars, I'd be poisoning your food every day until you died slowly. I can get all the money. That's not what I want. Oh, all right. She didn't ask what you want. It'd be worth more than five dollars to you, five million dollars to you. What you're not? Uh, You're not, Lauren. You are never going to be worth five million dollars to anyone. What do you do that's worth $5 million? This is like in his book where his mom thanks him for being born. Lauren just wants credit for, like, existing. Yeah, you, don't, you don't get credit for existing. You know, when you're a kid, you do. But you're an adult. 
you know, you, you got you got to do something to to be valued. And you don't you, all the only things that you do aren't valuable. They're they're like negatives on society. I'm Why sorry. Wouldn't you want the same from me? Well, because five million is a lot. Hold on. You do realize that once you're dead, you're dead, right? Oh, yeah. okay. Once you're dead, you're I dead. I do realize it. that. I thought you kept living. It over. Nope. Fucking stupid. That's why I don't want me to put second to money. When you're dead, you're, well, uh, basically you're dead. Well, you won't be put second to five dollars. Okay, see, I want to know that. Because you and I together actually have a potential that we could make a lot of money together if we wanted to. How? Where does he get these delusions? And I want to know that if we did wind up doing something like that, like, yeah. and making a lot of money, that you wouldn't just have me killed. Hey, Marshall. Easy to hire. Where... Where did he come up with this? You and I, together, have the ability to make a lot of money. Wh how? In what way? I, 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 where is he getting this? You know, he always has the ability to make a ton of money. He always has, like, the propensity in his mind to, the, you know, the next big thing is gonna, is right around the corner. He's gonna make a ton of money doing God knows what with his Sheptic Bishnish. So what is, what is... What, what does Casey have anything to do with that? Just make your own fucking money. And it's never worked out, either. It's like he's never accepted that, oh, shit, you know, every money-making scheme that I've had has failed miserably. Hey, Jason. Hitman. When you throw enough money at him. Hitman? See, his life is like a movie. Yep. Yeah. I could do it easily. question is, would you? Would I have you killed? Yeah. Like, right now? Why, why, why would I? Now or, ever. now or ever. Why would I have you killed? If you and I got married, uh -huh. and, we made, and we made millions of dollars. They're not even dating at this point in time. And you were mad at me for something. And we got divorced or something. Mm -hmm. And I got half the money and you got half the money. Okay, so... Move, bitch. So, okay. Just so I understand. You're asking me, if we were millionaires and we got into a fight, would I hire someone to kill you? Yes. What a stupid fucking question. In any worse situation, though... That we uh, think of any worse situation that we're in. Would you hire anybody to kill me? Um, what is the likeliness of this ever happening or needing to happen? It's happened before that people that didn't think it would happen. Oh my God! There was there was one thing. Yeah. That I saw on TV some. Isn't he unemployed at this time? Doesn't he owe people you know tens of thousands of dollars? And he's wasting his time, not even, like, he's not even on the phone talking to a catfish about, you know, insane shit that they made up, right? Winnie, you need to get off the fucking coke. You need to get away from that fucking party. Debbie's in another room fucking another guy. It's not even, like, a storyline that they concocted. It's him worried that if he gets married to a woman who he's not dating and has never met in person, if they get married... And somehow, God knows how, but somehow make a ton of money, and then their marriage falls apart, will she hire a hitman, because half of the money isn't enough, she wants all of the money, will she hire a hitman to get all the money? He's concocted this scenario wholesale, and this is what he's thinking about instead of getting a job or paying his property taxes or working towards a 
somewhat decent retirement plan or fixing his real life relationships or getting off of probation or anything of any sort of consequence this is what he's doing this is what he's spending his time doing just let that sink in i know i know we all hear it and sometimes like the craziness of these calls kind of like uh escapes us but just 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 think about that just sit on that thought for a second it's a murder mystery show that was real life that was uh... Okay. A doctor shot his ex-wife just because he wanted all the money that she had from the divorce. Who fucking cares? Okay. And he tried to cover it up. Then he got caught and went up in prison. Okay. So would I would I hire a hitman to kill you? Yeah. It, de- it depends on the circumstance, I guess. See what. Well, why would it even depend on the circumstance? The, the, because you never know, like you just said. Yeah, you never know. But the thing is, you'd be ruining your life if you did that. So taking my life would ruin your life. Not if I have enough money to hire a really good hitman. It doesn't matter how good it, the, the hitman is, they'll always trace it. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know every hitman's been caught. I thought there were still a few out there. The, those those investigations go quite deep. Did he just watch a movie? How does he know they'll, this? They'll still trace it. They'll oh, okay. Even cold cases they find now. He's like, wow. he's a... Uh... Yeah. Well, um, I mean... That... He's covering his tracks, you know, in the impossible... Uh, event that Casey takes out a hitman. Casey, that, that never works. So don't... Why didn't he start with that? Casey, just by the way, we can skip a whole, you know, 10 minute long conversation that goes nowhere if I just tell you up front um, hitmen don't work and they're always captured. Okay? He could have just started with that. That's where he wanted to lead. That's That was like his end point. And at no point in that did he make any effort to build towards that case. It was just nonsense going in a circle. And then he ended. It wasn't even an end. It was just an abrupt stop. I Here's... Okay, this didn't go the way that I wanted it to. Here's my point. It makes no fucking sense, right? Okay, but yeah, don't hire a hitman to kill me if we get married and make a ton of money. Oh, okay. Okay, Lauren. Yeah, I'll I'll see what I can do about that. That doesn't change my answer. I mean, it depends. Depends on what you did or what happened, where I would need to kill you. Uh, Clementine, I'm not a professional hitman, but I do, it's I, it's like a freelance situation. Um, you know, I haven't read the Gorgon rules or anything, but, uh, you know, I, I am a freelance hitman. I, you know, I never figured out how to take that next step into a professional hitman, unfortunately. Never figured out how to, you know, make a living off of it. Okay, you think of whatever works you can think of it. Okay. Okay. Now, is it really... If I'm already... Well, I don't know how to put that one. There's no way to ask that one. If, if you having me killed means taking a chance at you, you spending years or life in prison, mm-hmm. would that be worth it? Over the worst scenario, I would say, yeah. It would be worth it for you to spend life in prison. Yeah, over the worst scenario, absolutely. Okay. I'm not sure. I don't want to know what your worst scenario is. All right, well. I gotta go, bye. Alrighty. Hello? Hello? Hi. Birthday girl. I got, a, I got a little bit of time. What did you want me to call you for? Well, I, I, are you doing anything for your birthday tonight? We are on to 50. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going out. God, can you imagine getting a call from Lauren on your birthday? Like, hey, birthday girl. Hey, girl. 
Ah, oh, shut the fuck up. What? What is it? Dude, I hate my birthday. <coughs> For that simple reason. You know, you get a bunch of calls. Hey, happy birthday! Yeah, what's... Okay, thank you. Bye. You know, could, uh, imagine adding Lauren to that list. Fucking hell, dude. You doing anything fun today? No, it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday in February. What do you want me to do? Okay. I was going to talk about what we were talking about today. Oh, Jesus. Uh, did you get cash out? You guys hear this? It's a kelp pill. He's, Lauren's giving me a headache. I woke, up, I woke up with a headache. It's not going away. Lauren's not helping. Did I get cash app? Cash app? You remember that cash app that I wanted you to download a long time ago? It's always weird hearing Lauren, like, talk about something that's relevant. Like, cash app or Venmo. Like, he just, he seems like a time capsule of 2007. To hear him say things, like Uber. That was weird hearing him say Uber. Like, he, he shouldn't know what Uber is. How does Lauren know what Uber is? What do I need cash app for? Oh my god, Nuggies, please. Because I want to send you some money for your birthday. So hey, Kenneth. Your, oh, and, uh, radical. No, you you don't have any money. You need to yeah, pay Billy your bills. <laughs> I know I some need to pay my bills. That's my problem. Come if I want to buy you something for your birthday, that's the only way that I can do it right now. Give I'm your all mom good. money back. She doesn't need your $25. Hey, hey. How much money do you think he was going to send her? Because I I'm of the, I don't know why, but $25 sits right with me. You know what I mean? That just, it like, $25. He was going to send her 25 bucks. I just know it. Hey, Notorious, be right us. I, if I can't buy you anything for your birthday, you can't buy me anything for mine. <laughs> she was I wasn't going, going to. to. Oh, I see how you are. No, oh, I see who you are. I'll try to make it playful. <sighs> so. Take the money you would have given me and give it to your mother. Yeah, give her that 25 bucks. Oh? Uh -huh. Take the money you would have given me for my birthday and give it to your mother. Alright, I'll do that. It's a great idea. Or send it so, to another this catfish. Thing that Mitch told you today. Send it to the mayor of Italy. That's not that's not the, the case. How is it not the case? I mean, it came straight from the horse's mouth. Mitchell is a horse. No, Mitchell is not the horse. Oh, okay. To begin with. Wait it's a minute. Probation. He's your boss. He's not my boss. I don't think that is. He's Big Daddy Mitch. Big Dick, he's Big a, he's Daddy a Mitch. Officer. That's all he is. He doesn't know all the laws. He <laughs> You're a probation him. officer. He goes by what hey, all you let him go by. That. That's, that's the only that's the only reason that he could only tell you that stuff. My girl was a great student. The reason he can tell me that you're not getting off probation, and she he doesn't know where you got that idea from. He can't tell. Him, that's not up to him to tell me whether or not he's I'm your probation off officer. Probation. The goblet of fire. If I have been, if I have probation on my side to get off probation because I haven't he's done anything wrong. Oh my god. For a long time, what reason do they possibly could they possibly have to keep me on probation and waste taxpayers' money? You okay, well, how come you're not off now? Probation? Well, because they still have me seeing a counselor for the treatment class. That but you haven't have. done anything wrong, I thought. Well, I'm still not out of the out of that class actually because it's it's. One on one, but it's still the it's the same thing as a class, it's just one on one. Mm -hmm. But after I'm done with with that, they don't have I any wonder, reason to keep me on there. Like obviously he's lying to uh, Casey, you know, like to to get her to do what he wants or to think that he's going to get off so she'll come and visit him, and then he could show probation. Blah, blah 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 blah. But I wonder, I wonder what what percentage of him actually thinks he's going to get off of probation. Like, I wonder if he actually believes that at some point he's going to get off of probation. But a major reason that I've had such a problem is because of all the catfishing. Yeah, that's why. They, they've gone, they've watched everything on there that has happened with the catfishing. They've watched everything. I'm going to ask had... Mitch if, um, uh, I'm going to uh, ask Mitch and Ashley 
if you can get off lifetime probation eventually. Lauren's going to answer that for them. What because... you need to do is ask a, ask a lawyer. Mitchell do I need to ask and... probation since they're the ones that you are, um, you know, the ones that do probation? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I mean, when well, you want to know stuff about probation, like you talk to no, a probation I mean... officer. They are going to tell you no right now anyway. Well, I'm not going to say, in, I'm just going to say in general, is it possible to get off lifetime probation? Well, yes, it is. I've already asked that question. Okay, well, I'm going to ask him too. Oh, go ahead. Cool. They're gonna they're gonna tell you no because that's what the court paper says. Oh gosh, yeah. So they'll just lie to me lie. then. The, they'll tell you what the court paper says. I'm they not I'm not saying in your case. I'm just saying if it's possible. It, it is possible. All right. Well, that's what I said. I'm gonna ask him. Okay. Well, lawyers have told me in the. And more than just one lawyer. Every lawyer I've talked to about this has said, "Why do they want? To, why would they want to keep you on probation?" Even my last one. David, yes, if you see, he David doesn't. Said, why would they? Okay, want to... this isn't an accurate translation of what um, has been told to him, right? What his lawyer said, and I, you know, I don't need to tell you this, but I'm going to say it anyway. What his lawyer said is that, like, yes, if you pass the class and you engage properly with probation. Of course, you can get off of probation. They don't want you in class and to be wasting money forever. But you have to pass the class, and you have to be honest with them, and they have to feel like you, uh, you, you are ready to not be constantly supervised and don't need any more uh, therapy and you know don't need to be watched constantly. That's what they said. But of course, he didn't hear that. He just heard, yeah, you know, of course, people get off probation all the time for not following probation. People who are in sex offender rehab class and haven't passed it in 10 years, yeah, oh yeah, they get off all the time, Lauren. Yeah, definitely. You're next in line, buddy. I want to keep you on probation when you're not doing anything wrong. It'd just be Yeah, that's text. weird if someone oh, that you pay money to defend you would say that. That's very weird. Yeah, I'm, I, I want to pay my first couple of lawyers. They were going yeah, to that doesn't me. surprise me. Well, the, what it was they going to pay him with? I didn't have any money at the time. Do you have money now? All my money had been shot to shit. Shot to shit. Why is why is it the money is such a big deal to you? Oh my god. Why isn't it such a big deal to you? Well, you say things that it's like if if you don't have money that. Must not be worth anything or something. Oh my god. That's the way you make it. Well, come yeah. Off. So if a person doesn't that's have a, money, that's exactly not... what I'm saying. If you don't have money, you're not worth anything. Literally. So if a person money is money, how they determine your worth. If a person doesn't have money, they're no good. They are worth yeah. less than someone else. Yeah, who that has means they're money. homeless or something. Literally. Or they're broke. So how, can, how can they be no good? I just told you because they don't have money. So that makes them no good. It yeah. Makes them worth. It means less. they're worth nothing. Hence why there's no money. Okay, so when you go out to a restaurant and you get served by a waiter that doesn't have any money, see, he's the, no good. You know, it's uh okay. Well, first of all, that waiter does have money because they're getting paid and they're getting tips, so they're making money. That's why they're they they don't just love waiting tables. Um, but this is, again, like, Lauren's inability to listen and understand abstract concepts. Like, if you don't have any money, in terms of your monetary worth, you are worthless. You have no money. And it's just semantics. Like, obviously, I don't agree that, like, literally you're worth nothing if you don't have any money. But in this semantic argument that you would be able to understand if you had any idea of, like, abstract thinking, uh, if you have less money than someone in terms of your monetary value you are worth less than them because you have less worth and he can't like he, he can't he can't understand that semantic wordplay that she's engaging in he, he's just so fucking stupid why doesn't he have money maybe he's just starting out maybe he went through a hard time maybe he went through a divorce lost all his money Maybe he gambled it away. Maybe he's got a drinking problem. Maybe he's got a drug problem. 
People well, have then, problems. yeah, I think he's worth People nothing. Have problems, Casey. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know that the, the waiter doesn't have money. You don't know that he does. It doesn't make I him know. good. Well, if he's a drug addict and an alcoholic and everything that you just said, then, yeah, he's no good. Those are addictions. It's Those a disease, ditches. like Roy. He's an alcoholic. He has a disease. Yeah, and you treat yeah, him like Yeah, he's no good worse. either. It doesn't make him no good. It makes him have a problem. It makes him no good. Okay, what about mom? She has. She's never had money. Yeah, she's not good either. Well, gorillas can't she's have no money. good. My mom well, is no good. What would a gorilla do with money? Good. At, what would you? What do you mean? Yeah. How can she be no good? Because look at the children she has raised, Lauren. Yeah, I would say that she's not very good. You would say my mom's not very good. Yeah, there's no slight on her. I'm just saying what it is. You No, you're not saying what it is. You're not even thinking before you say this stuff. No, she is thinking. You just don't like what she's you're saying. You're not thinking before you're asking these questions. Because they... Just because my mom... Listen, I have to do that just because thing. my mom doesn't have money doesn't make her no good well think about it like she this she worked Lord. her ass off through her whole life and she's gone through she hell she worked her ass off what did well, she think do about it like she this. Was, you put her through hell she was abused by she... my dad then she was uh -huh. uh, with a guy that was really good to her right up until 27 years later left her for what well, used to be her daughter-in-law okay that sounds like a pretty good life if i had 27 good years with someone and then you know something horrible happened guess what all relationships end badly either it's a bad relationship and it ends badly or it's a great relationship and unfortunately it ends because someone dies or there's some outside influence and that's bad every relationship ends badly lauren so that's not a horrible tragedy that something bad happened to your mom after 27 years sounds like a pretty good fucking life and also the tragedy of her life isn't that her husband left her at some point 27 years later after treating her really well and taking care of a bunch of her kids which is a completely ridiculous request to make of anyone and it's really amazing that she was able to find someone who did that it's not that it's that her son was caught on national tv trying to rape a child that's the real tragedy and then continues to mooch off of her when she really doesn't have any resources to, to, to spare. That's the real tragedy. You are the real tragedy. Yeah, so she's clearly not a very smart woman because look at the guys she wants to associate with. She had a ton of kids with a guy who turned out to be a deadbeat. Doesn't she live in Section 8 housing? She lives in a house that we built for her with her money. So she lives in, doesn't she live in Section 8 housing? She gets Section 8 because she can. Yeah, so exactly, oh so that's what I'm saying. She has no money, so she's no good. So why does having no money make her no good? <sighs> because she doesn't have any money. And even, like, even if it's not a semantic argument about being worth less if you have less money and therefore have less worth, even if it's not, it's just a philosophical disagreement. She thinks that money equals, you know, how much you're worth and, and you know, status equals what value you have. And Lauren doesn't. Lauren thinks that being a good person and making a few mistakes, trying to rape a few kids and, and stealing a bunch of money from old people, but you didn't mean to do it, that makes you a good person. That's where the value lies. And the irony, of course, is that if you were to value Lauren by money, he, he is not valuable at all he has negative value and if you were to value him by his like morality by the actions that he's done and the the moral benefit of those he's even worse he should be arguing that he should be agreeing with casey yeah i agree i have negative money but yes that that's where my value is i'm negative fifteen thousand dollars worth of of good you know not not my moral benefit don't count that don't look at that casey Please, for the love of God, don't don't put my value in that. She's still He's one of the best women I've ever came across. But, you know, that's like, you're also no good, though. You know what I mean? It's like, you can't blame people because you don't have money. Money is, is what makes you good? Yes! Not what makes you good? Nothing makes okay, you good. Okay, what about Donald Trump? He's a billionaire. Is he good? Yeah. He is good for what? 
I mean, he ran a country. Right? Sorry? Throwing a, temper, throw, throwing a temper tantrum because he didn't get his own way. So he well, a riot I wonder who that Capitol, sounds like. Wanted to hang his own vice presidents that, that he wanted in office with him. Okay. Okay. So how is he good? Because he's a he good has man. Money. Uh, he is. That's why he. he look at all of his accomplishments, Lauren. Well, yeah. Look at all of his accomplishments. All accomplishments it doesn't mean that you're a good person. Doing good yes, things makes you a good person. No, it but you don't do good you. things. Having money and accomplishments is what makes you a good person. No. It means you're good at being a person. It means you're good at stuff that you do. It doesn't yeah. really make it doesn't make you a good person. Doing good things makes you a good person. But you don't do good what things. Good things have you done? Make, exactly. Having money just makes you have money. What good things have you done? I've done a lot of good things. I do good things all the time. There it is. What I knew it. Have... Can't name a specific one, but he does good things all the time. I wonder what those good things are. I wonder. I, 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 you know, I'm on the edge of my seat, just like, uh, just like Casey, you know, at the sting house. I'm on the edge of my seat. I wonder what they are. I bet it's going to be, you know, I volunteer. I bet it's going to be some nondescript, holy shit, the elder wand. It's mine for the taking. <laughs> uh, I bet it's going to be some nondescript thing, a generic positive thing. I help mom a lot. I volunteer at the animal shelter, and he did that like 30 years ago. And by volunteer, he dropped his dog off to like get a haircut, and then he played with the dog in the kennel, and that turns into like I I volunteer with dogs all the time. Yeah, I, it's gonna be something nondescript and borderline, you know, not not uh, positive. Are you done? I help mom out as much as I can. I help Aunt Shirley out as much as I can. I help my neighbor out as much as I can because he hurt his arm. Even when he didn't hurt his arm, I still helped him out. No, you didn't. You We've never heard about this what neighbor. Who? He hurt his arm, so he was in a cast. So I took his trash down for him. He didn't have trash. to do. Oh, wow. What? Oh, okay. Lauren's a good person because he took his neighbor's trash out once. He, I've never heard of this neighbor before. You know, if he's such a good person... Why is this the first that we're hearing of them? If he's always helping his neighbor out, which he's not. He didn't even say he always did. He gave one example. I took his trash out once. Who gives a shit? That's just a neighborly thing to do. That doesn't make you a good person. You can't rest your hat on that. You know, I, oh, I took my neighbor's trash out once. Where was this neighbor when Lauren was going back to jail? Why didn't this neighbor speak on Lauren's behalf? Well, he takes my trash out without telling... It's, it's bullshit. There's just no way. I don't believe it. I don't I don't even believe he took his neighbor's trash out. That's how bad this person is. That that doing just like a generic neighborly thing. I'm like I mm, I can't see it. I don't see it. And if he did, you know, he's like, "Well, I took your trash out yesterday." Can you help me paint my my house? You know, I I need to get something out of this now. Or he told everyone. I mean, he's using it right now. He's using it as like, you know, hey, look, see, Casey? You should come down here and meet me because I'm a good person. He's immediately trying to re, you know, you know, get it to be some sort of benefit for him. Wow. What did you do? So just taking the trash out means that you're better than Donald Trump? I don't try to get people killed. Well, yeah, you do. You've driven drunk plenty of times. Exactly. Yeah, that was back when I was uh, not being Yeah, that was back was then. Oh, okay, yeah. I was being mm -hmm. an idiot. Not a selfish asshole, just an idiot. Time's changed. I don't do shit like that now. No, he hasn't done that in like a year. Because he can't, because he'd go back to jail if he drank once. I had times when I weren't, wasn't a good person when I did that. Yeah, times. I didn't do not that anymore, though. all the time. No. I mean, I'm, I'm not impressed with that example, or not at all. You took trash out. That's, that's just basic human decency. Oh, of course. Yeah. Such a bad person. He didn't ask me to do it. Oh, Mom you're a hero. He doesn't ask me to do half the things that, that I do for her. Like what? Think name one. The, you didn't name any. I, name one. The weight of the world on his shoulders. The weight of, he put the weight of the world on his shoulders. Yeah, he's carrying the world for us. Now we have this pussy who can't even remember his own fucking name in the office. 
Hey, uh, uh, hey, because so I, uh, I can't name things that that make me. Uh, you're not in office. How you want me just list things right off the top of my head? What He's not talking, talking about, about you. Uh, it, it shocks the hell out of me that you're saying Donald Trump is a, is a good person because he has money. It shocks the hell out of me that you're saying that a person's no good if they don't have money. Oh, okay. This world wouldn't, this world wouldn't exist. In the, Money wouldn't exist without the poor people. Oh my God! Oh my God! No. Now, uh, everybody, get out your uh, economics textbook. We're gonna get a quick lesson from Lauren about economics. Okay. Now the bankruptcy chapter uh, is pretty thick, I know, but uh, we're not. That's not the chapter we're focused on. We're talking about the the uh, the psychology of money, or like the 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 non-concrete idea, the concept of money is what we're going to start with. So Lauren's really good at those, um, at those non-concrete ideas. You know, he can really understand it. So I bet this is going to be really, you know, concise, very, very good, very accurate. Here we go. No, it's the, it's the game, Punk Pansy. Sorry. I should turn the sound off on my controller. Oh, that money exists regardless of the poor people. No, Casey. It's called fiat money. They don't money, have Casey. money, Lauren. How does it exist without them? Who's going to work in the shops? Certainly not the poor people because they're poor and don't have money. Well, they're the only ones that are working in the shops. I don't see Donald Trump in there in a bakery or in a in a sweatshop or in a convenience he's, store or he was a hardware a, store. Yeah, he led the country, Lauren. That's a way harder and better job. He doesn't run the country anymore, thank God. I wish he did. He was damn good at it. Now we have this fucking pussy in the office who is just he, he, sitting there. He's reading off teleprompters. He can't remember anything he's fucking saying. We have this Trump, Joe Biden little bitch. Trump Meanwhile, Trump's beginning. out here defending America. Trump was good in the beginning. When COVID hit and he tried to play it off like nothing was wrong, that's when he became retarded. Because millions of people died from COVID in America alone. A million more would have died regardless because Joe Biden's an idiot. And I don't, I don't see know. how he's responsible for the China virus. That's no, China's I'm, problem. I'm not, saying, I'm not saying Joe Biden's some miracle worker. He's not. Trump is a but great I mean, man and he was the best president we've ever had. No. Reagan was the best president we ever had. Cool. That blows my mind that you you say that people are no good if they don't have money. Yeah, you said that already. Yes. You have Joe Biden brain. What you makes can't you remember think, things you said three seconds ago. What makes you think that, Casey? I already explained it. If you have no money, then you're a failure. How are you a failure? Because you're a bum. You have no money. My mom succeeded in raising six kids by herself. She didn't succeed at it. Look at all of you guys. You're all failures. We're because all wasn't failures. Wasn't Roy just the other day drunk in a ditch? That's Roy. That's not, I don't know if he was drunk in a ditch or not. Who the fuck knows? But you're all, you're all poor people. So, I mean, if she raised you and you became, like, a senator, and, you know, she, you know, if her kids were all doctors... Then, yeah, I'd say she's pretty successful, but she she raised you. So, and Paul and Roy, I mean, you're on lifetime probation. Paul's a child molester, and Roy's drunk all the time. Well, my life would have, would have been different had things been different for me in certain aspects. Yeah, but you're I, always I, complaining I, about your childhood. Clearly, your mom didn't do anything correctly because all of you turned out fucked. No, we, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Casey, where is your thinking at? My mom succeeded in raising six kids by herself. She didn't succeed at it. Look at all of you guys. You're all failures. We're because all wasn't failures. Wasn't just the other day drunk in a ditch? That's Roy. That's on, I don't know if he was drunk in a ditch or not. Who the fuck knows? But you're all you're all poor people. So I mean, if she raised you and you became like a senator, 
And, you know, she, you know, if her kids were all doctors, then, yeah, I would say she's pretty successful. But she, she raised you. So, and Paul and Roy, I mean, you're on lifetime probation. Paul's a child molester. How, how, we're on episode 53. That's why it, that's why it went back a little bit. Uh, how how does he think he's successful? I'd like him to lay out his successes. Like, does he think that just because all of all of Mama Gwen's children, you know, that made it out of childbirth, um, survived to be adults, that she's successful? Like, she must feel like a miserable failure every time that Lauren comes over and needs thirty dollars to buy a barn phone from Walmart. You know. She must know that she's unsuccessful. She failed. She failed these children. And it's not her fault that they're shitty. But, you know, they are shitty and they're adults and she raised them. So, you know, put two and two together. Hey, my balls itch and page, page master. Yeah, Clementine, you saw me in a ditch and you declared me dead. You know, you take one nap in a ditch at the park and people start declaring you this and that. It's just, it's ridiculous. And Rory's drunk all the time. My life would have been, would have been different had things been different for me in certain aspects. Yeah, and yeah, again, was... again, my life would have been different if things had been different. It's not my fault. It's just if things had been different, my life would be different. Complaining about your childhood, clearly your mom didn't do anything correctly because all of you turned out fucked. Casey, where is your thinking? No, yeah. you're... <laughs> Jesus Christ, Casey, where is your thinking at? You're a registered sex offender. If, if I was a parent, and like obviously, you know, you'd love your kid and it'd be different if you were a parent, but just looking at it analytically, right? If I had one child who was like really successful, right? Like uh, CEO of a Fortune 500 company, and another child who was like average, like, you know, they had a professional job and it was fine. And then I had a third child who was a registered sex offender and <laughs> living in Lauren's trailer. Not with Lauren, but a trailer like Lauren's and had no money and constantly was falling for catfish and was in rape class for 10 years. I would still feel like a failure. Even given the two relative successes, I would still feel like, fuck, you know, what did I do wrong with that one kid? That would plague my mind every night when I went to bed. I would, and, and his mom doesn't even have that. She doesn't even have the success stories. I just, I just told you where it was at. Holy shit, you, you call my mom no good because she didn't raise good kids. You're the one who had to reparent yourself. She did raise good, good kids. With some you of have to reparent to... yourself, Lauren. She didn't do a good job. And you're not I a kid anymore. I have to reparent myself in certain ways. Yeah, I don't have to reparent myself because I was raised by a good parent. I, I, I mean, look at you. You're a sex offender on lifetime probation. Your mother failed you. Are you sure that you don't have to repair yourself, Casey? Yes. Yeah. You, get, you have the thought. She's a professional that adult. This person has no money that they're no good. Yeah. So what does that have to do with reparenting myself? So it sounds to me like you need to repair yourself with that. Who are you to decide that? Okay, that's that's really dumb. I mean, how? Well, because you think that if a person doesn't have money, that they're no good. That money is yeah. something that, you said that, that several money times. makes a person a good person. Yeah, that's my opinion. How does that mean I need to repair it myself? Okay, you see most of the people in Congress? Oh, most my God. Most of those God. people have money. Most of them people are, are ripping people off, cheating people, lying to people. So are you! The whole country. Stealing so are money. you! Remember when you apologized to the whole world for NBC? You were lying. You've lied. You you made a YouTube video about how you never meant to do it. That's a lie to the whole country. You're doing all of these things. It's. But they are good people because they have money. My parents have money and they're great people. Yeah, I would say those are pretty good people. Greed is the worst thing in the world. You know that, right? Really? The worst thing? No, I don't think so. I think trying to rape a child is the worst thing in the world. Yeah, bingo. Well, that, that's part of greed. That's part? What other How part are you is not there? greedy? That's oh, being selfish. Yeah, you're very greedy. I, I was at the time, I was. I was. And you still are. You're you taking money from your mother and her limited uh, income. Yeah. See, 
I admit it. Oh, okay. That makes uh-huh. him better. And I don't have a problem admitting because I was wrong. Mm-hmm. Greed with money is not as bad as what I did. But it's, it's probably next. No, it's not. It's, there's it's nothing next. There's money. not a list. And you, were thinking, money? you were only thinking of yourself, Lauren. Exactly. I already said that. Shellfish. Thank you. Greed with money makes you do things that you wouldn't normally do. Nobody gives a shit. Well, you didn't just say that, and you don't... Just to get more money. You stole $30,000! So a person, a good person. Well, you said you weren't even thinking of, of yourself. You were thinking well, about yourself. You were only thinking of yourself. Yeah, I was, I was only thinking of myself at the time, but I weren't thinking about myself with the consequences that was going on. And I wasn't even thinking about... I wasn't thinking about anything. I, I was thoughtless. Well, because you didn't think you'd get caught, you mean? I didn't even think. I weren't thinking. Yeah, because you, you I, mean, I weren't thinking. At all. Okay, why are you stuck on this? You, you're the one who mentioned being greedy, and I pointed out that you were greedy. Yeah. And I admitted to it. I didn't hide from it. So does that make you a bad person? But, but Even no, by your own, on. like, logic? It, it makes me a bad person because I was greedy. He will yeah. just do anything in the world to go, yeah, you know what? You're right. I am a bad person. I need to work on myself. You're right. He Just anything in the world. I were a bad person, but I've done all this work. Now, no one else concurs that I've done this work. In fact, they, they say that I haven't and that I need to stay in class and all this bullshit. But I know that I have. Fuck you, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, Annie, you're poor. All right. Because I'm poor? Yeah, both yes, of those things. Yes, that's what she just said. Casey, how can you think that because a person is poor... Oh my god, we've been having this conversation for like 20 minutes. Person. That's just okay, what she thinks. That's what she believes. I can tell you and that way you don't have to ask uh, like a hundred more times. Me because I'm, you know, I'm trying she to has, see where you, several times. Where you find the sense in that. Okay. If a person has no money, they are a failure. That means they didn't accomplish anything. It means they have nothing. And they're worthless people. Okay. They are literally so, worthless. They, their net worth is zero. They are worth nothing. They don't have money. They they suck money from the government. You know, they go in government programs like unemployment. They get food stamps. They're greedy people. They're cockroaches. They're homeless. So they, the homeless people are driving down all the property values, especially out here in L.A., these fucking homeless people sitting there asking for a coin. So oh, give me, give me some change, please. You had enough money for a fucking sharpie and for a cardboard box. So, Why didn't you use that money to, you know, get yourself a nice haircut and go apply for a job? You dumb broke bitch. That's usually what I bitch. tell them. Why would you tell them? Because it's the truth, and they need to hear it. They need to not be coddled. But you don't know what they've gone through. You don't know how um, they got I know there. What they're going through. They're, they're homeless and they're just—they're an eyesore. They might be an eyesore, but you don't know what they went through that made them be there. I mean, whatever they went through doesn't really matter, Lauren, because they did it to themselves. Everybody goes through stuff. You don't and know that, that person, person could have been a millionaire before. And he's a failure now. So. Because he lost his money and makes him a oh loser? Oh, my God. Yeah? It means they suck that money. And now they're mooching off the government like a bunch of little bitches. Everyone else, like, I, I feel like if I were explaining this to a four-year-old, they would have got it by now. They'd go, oh, you think that if somebody doesn't have money, then they don't have as much worth as someone who does have money. Okay. I, I don't agree with that. Why do you think that? That's just what I believe. Oh, Okay. Like, a four-year-old would be done with the questions. A four-year-old would have grasped this concept by this point. You know? Like, someone who is of the age to understand that, like, 
diff- people are different and they have different ideas. Like, a different human is a different entity to you. Anyone who's old enough to understand that would have gotten the point by now. But Lauren just can't grasp it. It's someone else's point of view. And he just, he can't, he can't piece, why? Why doesn't she think exactly like I do? That's exactly what it means. It means you were a great, successful person. You lost all your money. You're a failure. You have nothing. So what happens if you lose your money? Is that going to make you a failure? Yes. Yes. How does that make you a failure? You didn't fail when you were She just explained it. I'm not, I'm not going to, that's the thing, I'm not going to lose my money. But if I did, that means I'm a failure, and I failed, and I'm worthless. How do you know you're not going to lose your money? I know I'm not. I, because I I'm not a job, and I'm successful, and I'm not a failure. I was I'm successful. I told, myself, I told myself a long time ago that I would, I would never get caught up in a sting or anything like that. Why would you and tell yourself that? Yeah, but you did because you're a failure. Do you see what I mean now? That was something that I could never see happening in my lifetime. Why? I've never said that to myself. I don't think anyone has ever said that. You know, I look, I'm not going to get caught up in a sting. Why would I? Why would anyone? Why would you? Why would you? Unless you're doing something illegal that you would get caught in a sting for and you're trying to avoid it. So you were a shitty person then. And this bullshit, well, I used to have a lot of money. When? No, you didn't. What happened to it? If you had so much money, why were you living in a, in a cracker shack outside of your sister's front yard? Why? Why, why that? I, I don't understand. Why, if you had so much money, then what's the issue in Betty's job? If he was making so much money, why not just give her her money back? Apparently, you had a ton of money. Just give Betty her money. What's $30,000? To someone who's as rich as Lauren claims that he was. What's the problem? What was the what was the fucking problem? Lauren, when I you try to rape multiple girls on the internet, it's bound to happen to you. If I was a homeless guy with blood pouring out of his mouth. Just because the person doesn't have money, Casey. It was Did inevitable you? for you. You talked to so many underage children. You were going to get caught one way or another. It happens to everyone. You're stuck on that again. Oh my god. I mean, you you told yourself you wouldn't get caught up in a sting? Yeah, because I told myself I'd never go to any house like that. But you went to a fair. I would, I would never meet anybody underage from anywhere. Yeah, but you, 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 never, you, never you do see, that. the thing is, I'm smart enough not to do that. But anyway, you're stuck on that again. Well, because you said it, like, what about Molly? You didn't think you were going to get in trouble with that? You were, you were bound to. Stuck on that. Holy shit, you're stuck on that, Casey. Why do you keep getting stuck on on my problem? You're the one who brought that up. Do you ever get stuck on your own problem? I don't have a problem. You have a problem with your thinking. You have a problem with your thinking. You're the one who wants to bone 17-year-old girls. My problem is, is nothing. I don't have a problem. And that's you telling me that what I want to do again. Yeah, and you're telling me what I want to do and how I want to think or how I should think. So you really think that you're right in, in saying that people are no good with money if they don't have money? Yes. Okay, so I don't have money. Does that make me, make me no good? Yeah. So what do you see in me? Nothing. Nothing? So this is all just a game for you? What's a game? What you and I have had? It's all been a game? Are you serious? What, what if we don't have anything right now, Lauren. And I mean, well, you even said more. yourself you need to get money to get out here and all that stuff. You, what you we need... Before, okay. what, we, what we had before, was that a game? No. Okay, then what did you see in me before? Because I didn't have money there when? either. Huh? When I saw it wet in you before. Roscoe, don't touch. What'd you say? What do you mean, what we had before? We haven't had anything. 
You've never even met yet. We haven't had anything. I, you've obviously had something for me. Otherwise, you wouldn't have spent all the time with me. Or you wouldn't have tried to get to know me. Is either you had something for me or you were playing a game. So which which one is it? Well, not everything is that black and white, Lauren. Well, it, it, what was it then? I don't know. It's something. Yeah. Okay, it's so what I is can't it? define it. You can't I was, I'm it. just getting to know you. But I'm, I'm saying absolutely you, you need to be successful. Don't you want to be successful? You're happy just being, you're happy being like a, a loser? But you want to be great? I want to be great. Doesn't mean I'm always going to be. No, you need head. money to be great. It, no, you do not need money to be great. You don't need money to be successful. You, yes, you do. Money. Money, money's how you determine whether or not you are successful. I've, I've gone up and down in my life. And, like, you know, it, it's times like this that I remember the, the wise words of the economic expert Joran Comedy. And those words are, money's money, okay? So all you people out there who was like, oh, is money the ocean? Is money a toilet? No, money's money. Okay, everyone? Jason X, I'm looking at you. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, Mary Hirsch. Mary Hirsch, you know what I'm talking about? Money's money. I know, you thought money was like a lizard or something. Nope, money's money. Got it? Okay, let's move on. Three times where Go get a I condom. had money, then I didn't have money. No. I had money, then I didn't have money. I had money. Do you mean, does he mean like, I, I had a positive balance in my bank account at some point? At three time, at three moments in his life, he had a positive. Ba Is that what he means by "I had money"? Because that's the only explanation. And now I'm getting money again. Well, no, you're not even employed. Uh, every okay. time that I was down, every time that I was uh, that I was down and didn't have money, it didn't it didn't make me unhappy. Well, it should have. It yes, it money did. To make me happy. No, it didn't. You need money to be happy. I knew. Uh, the, and see how you even describe it as being down. When I was down and had no money, you see, no one's ever down and yeah, had money. When I was money. down, when I was when I was down in a low spot and had no money. Yeah. I got myself out of it. It didn't mean it didn't make me not a good person. No, a, so no, a, a number of other things contributed to you being a bad person, like talking to children and stealing money. That money, I couldn't, buy, I couldn't buy material things. You weren't good at being a person. You had to take money from the government or your mother or, also, you know, your family had to give you a place to live for free. That, okay, that's just, uh, that's not being a this. good person. That's being a, a, that's being a bad person. Yeah, well. If every person in the United States stage. had a uh, lot of money, mm -hmm. nobody would want to be helping anybody else. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, you wouldn't about? need to because everybody has money. Who are you going to hire? He's talking about a post-scarcity society. Has money. Everyone, everyone, needs... everyone has money. Everyone, everyone open everybody your already economic has money. textbook. Nobody needs to work. Where are you going to buy groceries? Where are you going to buy groceries? Where are you going to buy gas? Well, your own, probably. If everybody has money. Everybody has money, so ain't nobody going to want to work. That's not yeah, true. Yeah, but you have to work for money. Well, no, everybody's already got it. The government just gave everybody $5 million each. Okay, then money's the worthless. States. Then inflation yeah, is going to explode. Nobody would... has to work. Yeah, well, you'd have to work to keep getting money. No. Money's what a are dinosaur. You about? Why would you have to? You could retire. Retire to, to what? Retire. You got $5 million. What do you want to work for? Just retire. Well, until the money runs out. Well, how, how's the money going to run out? You ain't paying anybody. Nobody wants to work. You know, I wonder what Lauren thinks of, like, those um, 
those automated checkout things at like the grocery store and stuff and self-driving cars and like uh, machines that unload trucks because his job is, you know, transporting goods or his former job when he was employed and did, didn't have a fake business was transporting goods, right? So that job is like pretty close to being obsolete. I wonder what he thinks of, of like those, you know, not to disparage them, but, you know, uh, lower skilled jobs um, becoming obsolete. Because there's going to be a point, you know, in the very near future where they're just got like, you know, they don't need to employ truckers or unloaders or cashiers or stockers. Like all those jobs are going to be gone. I, I wonder what's going to happen then, Lorne. Like that's not very far off. I He must think we're like, you know, a few years away from complete uh, destruction of the global economy. This is a really weird argument. I don't even know what you're trying to prove. Trying to prove, basically. You got to have electricity, too, though. But where's that going to come from? Because everybody's got $5 million, so they don't need to pay the electric bill because nobody's what? working at the electric plant. Okay. Uh, automated? Because yeah, they already have $5 million, so they retired. Okay. 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 So what, so what we're going to do to have... What's your point? Do, yeah, I'm what the confused. fuck are you talking about? Well, why is... How does money make you a good person? Because you have it. Well, he does. You have it, but everybody else has it too, so everybody in the United States must be a good person. Sure. Yeah. Okay, so... So nobody in the United States is a bad person anymore because they all have five million dollars. Yeah. What good is that going to do you if you can't go to a convenience store and buy something because oh nobody God, works there because stupidest possible they retired argument. with the $5 million that they have? I don't know what, what good it would do for a person, but that doesn't make them a bad person. It means they're a good person. They have money. They have money, but they don't have a life. You just said you can retire and never work again. I would say that means you have a life. Yeah, but what are you going to buy with it? Nobody's selling anything. Everybody oh my God. $5 million that the government gave them. Well, you bought everything you wanted. Everybody has it. How do they have it? It's not there anymore. Well, the thing about this, Lauren, is I don't see what this has to do with being a good person. Well, because everybody has money, so everybody in the United States must be a good person. I disagree with you, Casey. I guess we're not going to come to a conclusion. Yeah. Agree to disagree. Okay, now think back to, to reality. And okay. not everybody has money. Yeah, forget all that so shit I just said. So the ones that do have money can go out and buy the things that they need. Buy the things that they want. Yeah. At a convenience store, at a, at a car dealership, at wherever. Right, Bunny. Such a long, drawn-out explanation that would never happen to try to get his point across. To try to get no point across, I think you mean. His point of money isn't good, so if everybody had money, no one would work, so the money would be worthless, so would anyone be good if everyone had money? What? What the fuck are you talking about? What about, what about, uh, I, I don't know if Epstein was in the news, but Epstein had a lot of money, right? He wasn't a good person. That would have been a great argument, Lauren. The reason that yeah. they could buy that stuff? The reason they can buy that stuff is because somebody's working to make that stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they're bringing home a small paycheck. Maybe, maybe In they're bringing home a big that paycheck. Have you don't money fucking know. To be able to purchase that small stuff that they're making. Uh huh. That these poor people are making. Yeah. So if there weren't poor people, there would be no rich people. Well, you got to thank the rich people for providing the job. The rich person wow. gave that poor person the opportunity to not be such a piece of shit. Okay, so the rich people don't have to thank the poor people for doing the job? They the do, rich by people giving them already money. Thought that's why they're smart and have money. The poor people who, who planned poorly and are you know, not good at managing their money and are stupid, they have to work those jobs for the smart, rich person and then thank them for writing them a paycheck. Okay, so you got... Uh, oh, let's try my this God. Example. You have a millionaire uh -huh. over here. 
She doesn't okay, agree with you. Just here. move the fuck on. Okay. There's an elderly lady that needs some help across the street because she doesn't have her doesn't have her cane or a walker. Is there a curtain rod in the room? Nope. The, okay. the, it's not a room. She's going across the street. The poor person, the, the poor, the, the rich person, turns his head the other way and, and walks away, but the poor person goes over and, over and helps the elderly lady across the street. Okay. Which one's the, which one's a good person? I don't know. The guy with the money. Why? I didn't see him helping out that elderly lady. No, but he's smart and has money. So that makes him good because he's smart and has money. But meanwhile, if it weren't for this poor person, that elderly lady couldn't get across the street safely. Okay. So of the two, which do you consider the good person? The guy with the money. The guy with the money. Why? He's gonna be a person because he's successful. But he, no. he's successful at making money, but he's not successful at helping Money is how you determine your work. The poor person could be helping every old lady across the street, but they're not a good person. And the, the more frustrating aspect of this is like, if Lauren were to help an old lady across the street, it'd be completely superficial. It wouldn't be like, oh, there's somebody who needs help. I have the ability to help. Let me help them. It would be to show off for everyone around him. Look at what a good person I am. So, so even if you're, you're to place him in his, I guess, analogy, in his, in his story, in his concept, he still wouldn't be a good person. It, I don't know. This argument is, you know, there's an argument. Lauren is correct, obviously, but he's just too stupid to, like, piece it together. It's very frustrating. Because they don't have money in their failures and they're not successful. Being a good person is not based on money. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's your opinion. How can it not be your opinion? You're, you're, you're Because you have different woman. opinions. Me? What makes you a good person is being successful and having money. To you, it's helping your neighbor take the garbage out or helping an old lady cross the road because that happens all the time um, and stuff like that. You, we have two different definitions, I think. Well, I think we do. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know, because I, I, think, I think if you're poor, you're dumb, and if you have money, you're smart. Okay, so what do you see in me? Because I don't have money. Nothing. I see a, a guy who's poor. I see a poor guy. Okay, well, what attraction do you have to me? Oh my god! I don't have again, money. again, it's like earlier. I don't even remember what the example was. Oh yeah, I was helping that that little kid get a kidney or something. Again, let's turn it back around on me. Th again, this has nothing to do with like a, an ideological difference between what gives a human being worth. This is all about Lorne doesn't have money, so he needs to convince Casey that having money isn't important, so that she'll want to be with him. N has nothing to do with the actual value of, uh, of, of, of the situation or, or, you know, not having money or whatever. Nothing to do with that. All to do with, like, how can this benefit me in the easiest way possible? I don't have, like, an attraction to you. Then what is it? What is it? What's what? What is it? What is it that you have for me, Casey? Nothing. She's talking on the phone to you. I don't, I don't She's not know. beholden to you, you asshole. I, mean, I don't know what you mean. What is it? What's our attraction? Okay. So, we're talking about being a couple. What would make you talk about being a couple? Because I don't have money. When was I talking about that? Okay, so we've talked about it before. Don't play stupid on this one. Yeah, don't play stupid on this one, Keisha. Mm, let me think. Well, see, let, let me put it for you this way. In order to come out here and be with me, you're going to need money, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're in 
Cornville and you have no money, I don't want to be with you in Cornville. And moreover, like, he has no convictions of his own. If this wasn't interfering with him getting what he wanted, which was Casey to want to be with him, he, he would totally agree with her. If Lorne had just, like, inherited, if his aunt and uh, mother had just died and he had inherited, you know, $100,000 between the two of them or something, you know, he'd be like, yeah, I agree, oh, yeah, Roy, if Roy didn't get any money or whatever, if he had more money than Roy or something, you know, yeah, Roy's a piece of shit, he doesn't have any money. He would 100% agree with her if it wasn't a, a problem with him getting what he wants. He has no convictions. That's that's the only reason he's standing by this right now. In in the trailer and stuff, you know what I mean? But if you had yeah. money and was able to take care of yourself and look after yourself and had a had a house in California, that means you have money, therefore you're a good person. Therefore, I would see something in you. Okay. So like, I I I guess what your the answer to your question would be right now i see someone who is like a project or someone how, who how am i a project says he can do the things that i want oh god poor choice of words project a project Ooh, yeah you? you're like you're like um you know like you're trying to get to be the person i want you to be I'm trying to be the person that I want me to be. Oh, God. And don't you want to be someone with money in California? Oh, I'd like to have money, but uh, it's not going to kill me if I don't. It's not going to kill me if I don't. Well, it might, Lauren. It might just. Okay. Oh. That's great that you can live with no money. Uh, uh, How am I a project? Oh my god, are you fucking um, kidding me? How are you not a project, Lauren? You're on probation. You're poor. How am I you, a project? You know, do you really want me to go through it all? So it's gonna... yeah, are you insane? For you, I want you to explain that to me. How am I a project? All right, you don't get mad at me then. You're in therapy. You're a registered sex offender. Your teeth are really bad. You're kind of uh, like out of shape and, and not really like conventionally attractive you're bald mm. you live in a trailer in the middle of nowhere you work like a horrible awful job you're a chain smoker he's a loser um you're you always look so filthy you don't have like nice clothes he's a loser you you don't really have any sort of like value as far as like, any, you don't have value. You you take money from your elderly mother to buy you, like, a cell phone. There's times where you need to get cash advances from your boss to, like, purchase things like cigarettes and groceries. Um, you've been on unemployment. You get laid off constantly. Yeah, but besides all that, um, name 12 more things. I mean, I can keep going. If you, you have to. no higher education. You have no education at all. You owe nothing. You'll never be able to retire because you're, you're all your the debt you have. You'll never well, be able to pay off your loans. You're like twenty five k in debt. He has beanie babies. Don't you have no like babies. career. You just work trucking jobs. Jobs. Casey's making a lot of mistakes here. So how am I, how am I a project to you? She just listed off like 50 things. You fucking dumbass. Was I on mute the whole time? Huh? Did you hear anything I just said or was I on mute or something? Oh no. I, I heard everything you said. Mm hmm. So yeah, that's question? how you're a project. See, and there's another one. You're just. You can't. You don't really. You can't comprehend things. Casey. How am I a project? She you? just explained it. You're a fucking loser. No, dude. I, I literally just explained in all the ways that you're a project. All, all the shit. I don't I even heard know. Every, I, heard I don't know what you're said. trying to get me to say because I just gave you the answer on the I ways you're every, a project. I heard everything you just said. Yeah. 
So how you did didn't retain any of it. For you. That's the issue. Because you're a it loser. It makes you a project in order to... You need fixing up. Is he, <laughs> is he trying to get her to say, Lord, I want you so bad that I'm willing to put up with all of that and help you work through it? Is that, like, is that where this is going? Is that, am, am I getting that correct? Because otherwise it makes no fucking sense. Fixing up. <laughs> oh, shit. She just roasted him and he's, <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, I didn't say for me. I said, you know, to, to be what... I want in a person. I just said at all. So, so like in general, to not like a project for me. I'm not going to work on projects. That's what you said, though, was I'm a project. You are. She didn't say, I'm going to yeah. work on you. So, oh, my God. So the way I took it was, I was a project for you. Casey, okay, why well, am I a project you for you? Plan. Okay. I was quite offended by that. <laughs> you're you're a project for yourself. You're a project for anyone who wants to be with you. Or would consider being with you besides maybe like a trash bag. Oh, so you wouldn't consider being with me, huh? Fuck well, not me. in the current state that you're in. And I've, I've told you that. So what was before? Oh, my God. Before what? You knew the state that I was in before, and you still didn't go anywhere. And as a matter of fact, you came back to me after after realizing that Jamie was a fake. Okay, hey, well, the form remember of this, because I've told you this plenty. Of Congrats on losing your virginity. I'm I'm proud of you. Nice work. Times I didn't come back to you. Oh, I, so I, I came you? to tell you the truth. Okay. I came to tell I came to tell you the truth. Okay, you came didn't to tell come me the back truth. To you with the idea of being in a relationship with you. I've told you that plenty of times. About what happened? About what happened when? What happened? Even though you didn't come back to be in a relationship with me, what happened? They're not in a relationship. Nothing happened. We were starting, we were starting up a relationship, weren't we? No, what? we're not in it. I've told you we're not in a relationship. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, Lauren, I, I told you that. Did you just... I don't understand how you, like, even... What was, Alex, what was Alex Jones? Was he was he a relationship? No. No. What exactly was he? You he know, was my friend. There are stages to, like, to this shit, right? You start talking to someone, and then, you know, you hang out a few times, and then, then you're in a relationship. It, it's like he doesn't understand... The, the, the talk there there that there are stages he he, he un thinks like if you start talking to someone of the opposite sex regularly you are in a that that is like the the bright line that's you you are have crossed the threshold into being in a relationship which is not the case and has been reiterated to him time and time again and he i he it's he can't grasp that I'm lost at how you think mm. that a person is no good if they don't have money oh my god how long was this call it's almost over it was 30 minutes it was 29 minutes and one second zero progress was made Casey said the same thing for about a half an hour and we're at the end of the call and no progress was made you think that way yeah i'm just floored by it call's playing uh, I'll let you get off the phone so you can go enjoy your birthday. <laughs> Holy Hi. shit, it was your birthday. Right. I forgot. I forgot that's how this call started. Alright, on to 50 foe. Hi. Hello. I forgot I unplugged it last night. 
Oh. Oh, hey, there's some, uh, there's some text on screen, uh, from, I think, probation, so I'll read it here. Probation to Casey, I believe. I've received a travel request from Mr. Armstrong requesting travel to the state of California from October 7th to October 10th. Mr. Armstrong has stated the reason for the request is to visit you before Mr. Armstrong's request can be approved. I will need to verify some information regarding the proposed travel. If you are willing to do so, please let me know when would be a good day and time to reach you via telephone to gather some preliminary information. My normal office hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, if I could just make sure, if she does try to call me, my phone's unplugged and I'm not going to hear it. I was pissed. What? I was pissed when you when you wouldn't, wouldn't call me last night. So I unplugged okay. the phone and I turned my cell phone off last night. So she didn't call him and his response was, I know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna turn my phone off, so when she doesn't call me, I won't be able to pick up. Some eighty-seven logic right there. Well, I mean, if I wasn't gonna call you, what's exactly. the plugging the phone gonna do? Exactly. Well, just in case you changed your mind. Oh, ooh, ring. oh, Lauren, that hurt me so oh, bad. Okay. All right then. It's stupid as shit. Anyway. Anyway. So, you want to tell me the truth? So what do you What do you think is not the truth? I don't know. You know, I know you sound exactly like Casey Morrow. Mm-hmm. But you're very, very. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't, I don't know. know. You seem very much determined to not let me see you. Okay. Um, we purchased you a plane ticket to come see me. Right. And we also could have done video camera, or video call, and you didn't want to. Purchase a plane now, ticket to come see exactly. you. Hmm. Casey, I'm not Casey. That doesn't make any sense. That's impossible. Purchase hmm. a plane ticket to come see you. But you knew that in order for me to come see you, you had to talk to Mitchell. And you didn't. And that's the you reason I got denied. Huh? No. Because when you talked to him, I told you I wasn't going to get approved until you talked to him. I told you that. Oh, well, I told you I talked to him so you would shut up. Well, that's not the way to do it. Well, it's how she and I have it. talked to him before. Well, you kept bothering me. I just said, yeah, I talked to him. I thought it was pretty much a foregone conclusion that you were going to be able to fly out here. Well, I can't fly out there and see you until you talk to him. He has to know your information. Okay, well, you, what is, you seem so confident. I don't know. Well, you've known that all along. They well, now you've already canceled the ticket, right? Huh? Did you already cancel the ticket? I canceled the ticket because I only had 24 hours to cancel it and get my money back if I was going to do it. I didn't, I didn't even know that until Mitchell told me. <laughs> okay, so, um, well, well, what do you want? I don't know what you want to do. Well, if, I mean, you that call, to see me. if you can call and talk to Mitchell... And give him all, give him your information, the information that he, that he needs. Information. Then as soon as I get the money back in my account, we'll purchase the ticket again. And I'll. I'll, 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 I'll there was only like one or two tickets left, so we don't even know if that's, they're going to be there now. Well, well, probably going to have to put the request in all over again. Oh. They're going to be much more expensive next, next time around. Um, maybe. Jesus. I, I don't know why you couldn't take 10 minutes to call him. I mean, you was making such a big deal out of calling him. You really screwed this up, dude. Huh? said you really screwed this up. I don't even know what you're... 
Lucy. Don't say that I screwed it up. It was, you did it was on you. It was on you to call him. Okay, so she doesn't want to get on 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 camera. She doesn't want to send you pictures. She won't talk to your probation. Uh, she lied to you about talking to your probation so that you could get a flight, which for some reason you believed her and bought a plane ticket before checking with your probation to make sure it was okay to fly there. You know, I, I don't know, Lauren. You know, if you can't see this one, then, you know, what are we doing here, buddy? You know, what what's there to say? If you can't understand that this is a catfish... This is the fourth Casey, third or fourth Casey, third Casey. Um, you know, I, I don't know, buddy. This is me as his probation officer, like, trying to get him to understand that this is fake, right? What what would you have me do, Lauren? What would you like for me to do? I, I've done all I can. It's on you, and clearly it's not it's not enough for you to, uh, to accept that that this is a catfish. So, you know, I guess just keep living your delusion. That's all that was needed. And I would have been approved to go. But you didn't call him. That's why he sent you the email. Well, here's the thing. His office hours, his office hours are till 4.30 your time. By the time he's leaving, I'm not even on my lunch break yet. Okay. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to call him during... His office hours. If it's up at five o'clock before, you just the phone on a weekend. You've gotten up at five o'clock before. You I'm not even at five o'clock for that. It's, why can't he what? answer it on a weekend? So seeing me isn't isn't worth getting up at five o'clock one day. You did that one one day this week to go to work. To go to work, my job. Yeah. Okay. Well. I did my job in order to be able to go out and see you. So you could have done well, your job you. and, and called him. Even if it took getting well, up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Why can't he just let me call him on a weekend then? Or why can't he stay an extra 10 minutes? Do you like doing your job on a weekend? But it's only 10 minutes, Lauren. Well, do you like staying any longer than you have to? If it's only ten minutes, Lauren, what's the problem? You won't, you won't stay ten minutes to get you approved. He gave you his hours. They have well, set hours. Hard for me is what I'm saying. He's already out of the office before I even take a break. Okay, did you send him an email asking him if if he could, if you could call him at a specific time because you got three hours difference. No, because you said, okay, and I couldn't so do it. Try that? Months, so I didn't do that. Oh, you, you told me that in, that he gave, sent you the email. He told me that he, he sent you the email with his hours. You had his hours. You had his you had his email. You had everything, Casey. You could have sent him an email asking him, could you stay a little bit longer so that because I worked until this time and with three hours difference, and I, this is the only time I can call you. Okay. Could have done that, or you could have gotten up at five o'clock and called him at eight o'clock. Yeah, and, and apparently she did it. That's not what happened. No, I'll Lauren. email him and ask him if he can if he can answer the phone later. <laughs> What's that? This has gotten so screwed up for no reason. Skied up. It's almost like she's lying. You know what I mean? Simplest things. Um, nothing's screwed up for me. I feel fine. Yeah, but the simplest things. I could have been out there on, on the 7th through the 10th, just like we planned. Yep, and then you canceled the ticket. And you know why? Well, you should have told me that I could reach out to him outside of his office hours. I didn't know I could do that. I didn't. I don't know if you can. You gotta ask him. You gotta talk. You gotta communicate. You're doing well, really sucky at communicating. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter now. You already canceled the ticket. Because half the time it's like you don't even want to communicate with me. 
We used to huh. do small talk, and it never bothered you then. Oh, but God. All of a sudden, out of the blue, you don't want to do small talk. Small talk? Shut the we fuck up. To know each other without small talk. Small talk is That's not, not how you get to know each talk. other. Small talk is what it is. Small talk. Yeah. About your you never want to do small talk, talk your... anymore. It's spending what? time together. What? It's spending time together. It's Regardless really if it's small talk or not. Doing nothing is not spending time together. Huh? It's not spending time together. It's just sitting there while two people are on the phone doing nothing. Yeah, it could be video calls so we could see each other. And just stare at each other? <laughs> well, it, you know, it doesn't bother me to look at you. Okay, well, that's good for you. I'm just saying. But... Talking part. There's nothing to talk about. Well, that's when we find things to talk. It's amazing how you know desperate he is for like the most minimal things in a relationship. And I get why, of course, it makes sense why. But like just seeing his partner is like a romantic enterprise for him. Like j just the idea of seeing someone on a computer. Like, I met, that that's, like, the worst part of a relationship, right? Like, when you, when your partner is, like, out of town for a while and you do, like, a, a, a FaceTime call or something, like, that's, that's, that, that's to tide you over for a little while. But that would be the best relationship he's ever had. Talk yeah, about Well, I guess, every yeah. time you want to talk, you have nothing to talk about. Well, it's because you're not really including me in much of your life other than you're going to work. You text me while you're at work if I text you first. You're not trying so? to get involved in my life. Yeah, I guess she doesn't like want to be a part of your life. You, you, you don't like talking, you don't know anything about it. Well, no shit, but why not learn something about it? Get she doesn't care about it. Because I'm not, I'm not interested in it. Boring. Well, you get, you get to find something. Okay. <coughs> oh, yeah, cost okay, some more. But you're also not interested in anything about the Church of Cod, but you were interested in putting a bet against when Roy and my mom are going to die. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah? How is that interesting? That's not interesting, that's disgusting. That was interesting. What, is, disgusting. what, what does that even mean? The, that's not interesting, that's disgusting. But you got interested in putting a bet on it. That's not what I mean by interest. I mean, interest, it's, interest. It's putting the putting the bet on your I don't see how the two things are related. I don't even know what you're trying you're trying to say. Well, how could you be interested in putting a bet on when somebody's gonna die and not what interested does clobber in time have to do with this? Something that that I'm doing here. Yeah, exactly. How are those things even related? Because there's interest. What? Whoa, okay. Well, I don't even know. That was so dumb, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you don't uh, You don't ask me how to do anything yeah, about what I'm doing yeah, here. Yeah. She doesn't care. You update me all the time. You say, I'm home. Hey, beautiful. Hey, I'm, I'm, my, my truck broke down. Oh, I got a well, well, report today. What do you want me to say to that? Oh, cool. So, so you mean you know what's going on in my life? That's what's going on. Your life is so dull that a, a highlight of your day is picking up dinner. No, nah, it's just an update. Just to update you. Like, what do you want me to do? I don't know what you want me to say to that. <laughs> say anything you want. I say it to anybody else and they say, huh, is it a good dinner? Who? Who do you talk Does to? Does it taste good? No, they don't. What you no have gives a order? shit. Then text Listen, them. Why I had. Sure. There are other are ways to talk, you know. Who says that to you? Well, hell, I talk, I talk about that with Mom, with Roy, with Paul. That's what you talk to your mom about? With Uncle Clay, Aunt Sharon, Aunt Shirley. You call, I'm you, you call your family members to tell them you're having dinner? No, sometimes we, we call when we're eating. Why? How's Roy doing? That's, he's doing very well. Damn it. Oh, God. I wish you'd stop asking that because of the reason that you're asking it for. 
That's not right, Casey. It's messed up. Messed up. Okay. Why don't you ask how anybody else in my family is doing? She doesn't give a shit. You never, asked how Roy was doing. you never asked how Roy was doing before. Well, I didn't have a bet on his life before. Exactly. See how disgusting that is? Exactly. How's your mom? You better not have a bet on my mom. I yeah, told I you I did. I she does. I did. I do. Do not see how that is very wrong. <laughs> Good luck. Huh? I did. And I do. You, you did? You do. Yeah, that is very wrong. Oh. Why would you do it? And certainly, why would you ask me how they're doing? So, what did you just say? Didn't know, you don't know what I said? If it's wrong, why would I do it? What else are you paying attention to? Oh my god, is there another guy there? Nothing, I just, you're so, sometimes you're just so dumb, I don't know, even know, how, like, I can't comprehend what you're saying. I'm, I'm so dumb that I can't tell that you're paying attention to something else while I'm saying this. What, well, what did you say? I can, if you know that it's wrong and disgusting, then why are you doing it? That shit is disgusting! Oh, you knew talking to a 13-year-old girl was wrong and disgusting. Why did you do that? That was 15 years ago. Oh? And? But you knew it was wrong and disgusting. Yeah, I was out of my head at the time. Okay, I was Maybe out of my I'm head. Maybe I'm just out of my head at this time. Are you? Yep. I must be. Why you? What do you mean you must be? What? What's that mean? Well, what the fuck do you mean, think it means? Something must be wrong with me, I guess. All right, that's fifty-four under fifty-five. Something must be wrong with me, I guess. If your purpose for asking how Bob and Roy are, are because of that bet, don't ask. Don't ask. Okay, it's not because it's of the offensive. bet. How's your mom doing? It's very offensive to me. Okay, it's not it's not because of the debt. But how's your mom doing? She's doing very well. God damn. God damn it. Casey, okay, it's not even funny. I thought it was funny. I don't know why you would think that was funny. It's it's not laughing. Somebody, there's somebody you're trying to impress by saying it. Oh god, not like, the like that right there. That is such a dumb thing to say. I don't even know. I'm trying to impress someone. I'm in my house by myself. I'm trying to impress somebody. Well, then. You're on, I'm talking to you on the phone. Who would I be impressing right now? Even if there was someone here. Yourself. They don't know you. They wouldn't know who you are. They wouldn't be able to hear your part of the conversation. So what about yeah. saying that would be impress, impressive? Trying like to impress you, yourself. It's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You, well, Trying, not to, impress okay. yourself. Okay. Trying to impress yourself because you think it's a smart thing to say when but, you know it's not. What? You're trying to impress yourself because you think it's a smart thing to say when you know it's not. I'm impressed with myself. Say that one more time slowly, like, or like just say it in your head, like, go word by word. I'm no. trying to impress myself. Let's, let's take that sentence right there and really look at it. Yeah, I'm really trying... look at it. Yeah, really look Sorry. at it. I said, yeah, really look at it. Yeah. Trying to impress myself makes sense that I am. You don't do things to try to impress yourself? <laughs> no. What do you mean? I don't to impress myself. Do you, do you ever do things that you're like, wow, I'm impressed with myself? What is that? That's <laughs> just, no. No. Everybody does that every day. What? Everybody does that every day. Oh, I didn't know that. So what do you do that impressed yourself today? Oh, let me 
see what I do today to impress oh, myself. God. Well, I got home safely. I pressed myself on that one. How? Impress, impress yourself safe. isn't like, did he think he wasn't going to get home safely? Like, when I think impress, it's like you exceed expectations. Was his expectation to die on the way home? I didn't kill anybody. I didn't impress myself on that one. Hey, uh... Oh. You're impressed with for not killing anybody? I helped my boss work out tomorrow's jobs for me. So you did I your job? Wow, amazing. One, considering I had to remember the, all the loads that I just did this week. That all the loads that all he did. Up, that they screwed up. So, and they no. You're impressed with yourself for doing your job correctly and not killing someone today. And and taking a lot of loads. Oh, yeah. Don't forget that. Oh, yeah. I always impress myself when I don't kill somebody. And when he takes a lot of loads. <laughs> From his boss. Well, uh, okay, that's a very low bar. Because, uh, I, uh, am yeah. not impressed when I don't tell anybody because. Yeah, that didn't that, quite sound right, did it? <laughs> oh, no, here, try no. that again. Um, how can I say that so it sounds different? <laughs> yeah, that, that's not quite what I meant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what I meant was with the traffic on the interstate. You did? You do. Go on. Goodbye. No, oh, no, 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 no. Hang on a minute there, Will. Good luck. You what? see what that reminds me of? She what? doesn't give a shit. You tried to tell me before that you think good and you is sounds stupid. It does. You did, you do. Good that luck. is fucking retarded. You said it. It is retarded. And it came from Will. Absolutely retarded. And you and you're repeating what Will said. You hear the one who said it. He sounds retarded when he says it. You're the you're the one who said it. I'm not I'm not the one that said it. Will is. Lord, that's from one of the calls of one of your catfishes. Oh well, whatever. At least it, I didn't it, I didn't it, continue it. Bill, Hey, Lila Daisy, Lauren Anderson, and Bull You fucking idiot. I yeah, no, she is retarded. That's why I say it. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Why do you think Will said it? Why are you it? Why you, uh, do you keep interrupting me? Why do you think Will said it, dumbass? Will continue to say it. Continuously. Yeah, because it's retarded. Um, uh, that's why Will continues to say it, to say it, because it's retarded. Yeah. Yeah, and it's funny that you said well, I don't even remember saying it. Yeah, you're probably hammered. Probably because you were hammered. There it is. I think oh, I might be great. Casey. You're over here all mad. That is so retarded. It's so fucking stupid. And you're the one who said it. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> like, <laughs> well, I wonder, uh, you know, how, uh, who it really is you, that you stick up for, me or Will. Who you stick oh. up for. Awfully high yeah, well, Clementine, real. good new. Yeah, good oh. new. Are you that impressed by him? No, impressed is the word of the day. I don't think you know what impressed means. Because. Oh, God, here we go used... again. Here we go again. Another will thing. <laughs> what? What's a will thing? Oh, trying to, always trying to find faults. False. False? You said it, Lord. Am I going crazy right now? I'll, always trying to find faults. Seriously, Casey. Seriously. What? Constantly trying to find faults with me. Yeah, I don't find them. You just have them. Oh, and, and nobody else does, right? Jeez. I'm sure they do. Do you notice how often I point out faults to other people's faults? I don't know. Not, not Why does that matter? Because what's, what's the sense in doing that? What? What's, what's the sense in pointing out people's faults? 
when no well, one's because you're using you don't it have your own phone. Because you're the one who said, oh, are you impressed with Will? And I'm saying, you don't know what that word means, clearly, because that doesn't make any sense. And then you're like, don't point out how my fault. Not, how can it not make sense? I'm impressed with Are you impressed with, with Will? I'm impressed with him. Yeah. But how does that make sense? By how he always found shit about me that to try to make fun of and shit. Are you impressed by that? And shit. No, it's, it's not impressive. All right, then why mention anything that he even said? Well, I, I don't even... It's, I mean, it's not impressive. You, you said it. Okay, and, and I don't remember music. saying it. So obviously, get it. obviously, I didn't see anything impressive about it. Okay. I don't even remember saying it. So? Okay. But Will sure remembered saying it, or remembered me saying it. Mm -hmm. That That's all yeah. he said for a long time. Years. Come on, I want fucking off. He remembers it. He sounded dumb. That's all it is. There's certainly nothing else behind it. Why do you still go on there? Go on where? On on there to look at it, to listen to the calls and all that stupid. They're, they're stuff really there. funny. <laughs> they're really funny. Yeah. What's yeah. so funny about? What's um, so funny about? That's, that's, that's them catfishing me. Random stuff. It's funny. That's them catfishing me. But the thing is, they don't even really have to do anything. They just, all they have to do is sit on the phone and you create a scenario in your head and then get mad at them for it. Oh, of course. That's so funny. It's like, oh, yeah. just like, for example, one of them, like, Ramona didn't answer the phone. No, um, I can't remember which catfish it was, but they let the phone ring three <laughs> times. And I think it was Ramona. Like, you called her. And she didn't pick up right away. The phone rang three times. And you were like, who the fuck's at your house that you're fucking right now? Because you never let the phone go that long without answering it. You went, like, completely nuts on her. I don't remember it. Yeah, because you're also hammered in all these calls, is what I'm saying. Well. That's funny. You were drunk as fuck. I mean, and just because you don't remember it doesn't make it less funny. <coughs> remember, yep. who is it? But why would you want to go? Why would you want to continuously go back and listen to all that stuff? Continuously. Who is it? Answer me. Why would you want to continuously go back and listen to all that stuff? Because it's funny. What is his name? How did the doctor see you and your fucking kissing in your panties? <laughs> it's funny. I don't see anything funny about it. Well, because it happened to you. That's why you can't see what's funny about it. If it happened to someone else, you'd probably think it's funny. I mean, you literally were crying and saying, How did he see you in your tits and in your panties and you saw him fucking naked? And you're crying, and she, all she did in this story is accidentally see a guy naked. And you cried about it for like four hours. Like, not just like sniffling, but you're full on crying. No. Yeah, oh. It's hilarious. Okay, well, I, I forgot about it, so apparently so? I didn't really want to remember it either. It's so? It's that important to me. <laughs> I mean, I don't... Okay, that, that doesn't make it less funny just because you don't remember it happening. Um, I had a lot of rage back then, and I was taking it out a lot. Yeah, on cool. innocent well, victims. That so. doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that it's funny. It, it doesn't change the fact that it was recorded and put on the internet, and it's fucked up. It's fucked up. All okay. those people are fucked up. And... 
I didn't put it on the internet. I don't care who did. I'm just saying they're funny. But you're allowing them to continue putting this stuff on there by watching this shit. No, she's not. No, it's What's... already on there. So it helps that they get another click from you to, to go on and watch them all again. People watch them all day long, Lauren. If I don't watch them, it doesn't, it doesn't remove them from the internet, you know? Clicks don't matter. <coughs> Bless, Bless me. You. Bless me. I was impressing myself with that sneeze. I said bless you too. I don't know if you heard me or not. Yeah, give me credit. <coughs> oh, do what you want. Watch them if you want to. But... I will. I, think I would. Want to. I think it's messed up that you would want to. Okay. Well, I did. And I do. You did? You do. So when are you going to get tired of watching them? Uh, I'm not even, I don't even think I'm like 5% of the way through them all. There's so many. Every conversation you've ever had over the past, like, I don't know, since like 2015 or whenever you started talking to um, um, Ramona Amber. or um, Emma. Ms. Vincent or something like that. So like before that even. I'm not even a quarter of the way through. So when are you going to get tired of them? She just answered that. Mm, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't. Probably never. I guess I don't really know. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Roy just left me a voicemail. Did you hear that little squeak? We're on to episode 56. So he said that he's seeing stuff on YouTube, and he says oh, that Jesus. he's oh, put I love on this by call. you, and he says it's really Xavier that I'm texting with. He says it's Xavier? What, it, what do you mean it's put on by me? He, he said it. He says it, that it's being posted by you. Well, that's not true. That it's Tell him to send you a screenshot of it then. Well, no, cause he's, he's drunk. Go figure. So, but I'm not going solid on what he says because... Then why did you call? One, he's drunk. And two, nah. was he said something about saying... Uh, but I that uh, but I said that you had a hard ass or something like that, and but it was something I don't remember saying through text or over the phone. Well, so that, that's why it doesn't it doesn't sound solid to me. I want to confront you about it. And let hey, you know. size of a beetle bug. That's that's what he's telling me. Okay. That's why I just sent you a text saying you need to give me your real, real number and something more to oh give me secure God. here so I don't have to deal with this shit. No. See, Casey? See, Casey? Why don't you want to be real with me? I'm being real. If you don't believe I'm real, then you can go away. That's fine. You've had my real number before and you blew it. So, is there anything else? How, how did I blow it? I um, by showing that you were a pedophile. I said, I gave you what I said I gave, I would give you. Okay. Is there anything else? I, I just read it the wrong way. Okay. So, Roy, Roy says I'm putting uh, things on YouTube. I'm not putting anything on YouTube. Is there anything uh, else you need? No, I believe you. I believe okay. you. Really not. But is Xavier hacking into your shit? No. How would I know if he is? Go on, mind and see if there's anything on there that, that you and I have texted. And well, there isn't. Put on there. See if it came from your phone. 
All right, anything else? No. What did Roy say was online? I don't know. That, that's the first one I deleted, so I don't know what he said on the first one. I could tell that he was drunk. Oh, well, then why didn't you get ride. confirmation prior to this conversation? Well, he's... He's saying that his name is being... Because he wanted to use it as leverage to get your number, and that immediately backfired when he immediately backpedaled. You know, Roy's saying these things, but I don't believe it. So give me your number so that I can be secure in us, which I already am. Fucking idiot. You put online. Yeah, he, you introduced him to Stu, so of course his name's being put online. Well, I know, but he's saying it's coming from you. Well, it isn't. Well, the, I didn't... And if it is, I tell him to provide you proof it's coming from me. I'd love to see it. All right. I don't have any worries, then. I believe you. No, I want to see some proof. Well, I want to see some proof, too. Yeah, so I have to, So tell uh, him to give you some drunk. proof, and then I'll call you back. He, he's drunk, Casey. So, well, then why did he, then why did I need to call you if you didn't believe him? Why didn't what? Why did I need to call you if you did not believe what he was saying? Well, because I wanted to verify it with you because it irritated me. Because oh, I said was no. How did I, I didn't even verify it. being adamant about asking why Roy was so attractive. Or why just, I thought I was no. more attractive than Roy. How did I even verify what? it to you? Hey, Sean. All I said was huh? no to me. I said you were being adamant about why I was so, why I thought I was more attractive than Roy. So it all just came at the wrong anything. time. Nah, Sean, he just passed the buck to someone else. It would go from Xavier to Emma. Emma was behind the whole thing. She were cherry twist. It, it would just, his, his ability to construct a reality where he's the victim is his, his strongest talent. And he would never, ever, 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 ever give that up. So if it wasn't Xavier, then someone else was portraying Xavier. You know, all of his favorite, uh, favorite terms. Okay, fine, fine. I believe you, all right? Fine, Relax, fine. Relax, my God. Well, He's drunk, so I have to verify you know, by huh? you that, that it's not, huh? Eh? How, how do you want me to verify it's not me? Because I believe you when I hear you say that it's not you. Okay, why did I need to call you to say that? I could have just texted it to you. Yeah. Right. But when I hear Me. your voice, I know it's you. How? When I see text. I'm not always sure of who exactly who I'm talking to because I know it's maybe oh. hacks in the phones. Xavier okay, well, give me house. some proof that I'm the one posting it. Huh? Ask Roy for proof that I posted it. Well, I'll ask him, but I ain't asking him now. He's drunk. Yeah, don't ask him now. Ask him right now. I, I, mean, I tried calling him already. <laughs> He's not answering. <laughs> I, I want to hear that again. Ow! I, 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 mean, uh, I tried calling him already. <laughs> what did he just say? I'm calling him already. That's one more one more time around the block. Ask him right now. I, 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 mean, uh, I tried calling him already. <laughs> He's not answering the phone. It goes to his voicemail. I think you're lying. I think this is a ploy to get me on the phone to talk to you. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, all you want. I'll talk to you later. Text me the proof, okay? Bye. Bye. All right, that was 56 on 57. 50 Shavin. Hello. I just got your text. What the fuck's the matter with you? Well, Casey, I got some serious problems. There it is. You barely fucking oh. talked to me at all, Casey, today. Piece of shit. And that fucking piece of shit, he keeps putting shit in your goddamn head. And you can't tell me that he's not, because you already told me that he is. You don't even know if I talked to him today, dumbass. Did you? I guarantee you no. did. Did you? Oh, well, you, you guarantee it? it? Well, well, I did it. Well, that's a, that's a fucking surprise. But you just guaranteed it. You can't go a day without talking to him and asking for his advice and his opinion on everything. Usually you're out on Friday night with him, so he can have his free little getaway weekend. Oh man, what a, what a crime! Casey goes out on Friday nights with her friends. What what a fucking bitch! That's that's a travesty. She should be at home, on the phone, 
talking to Lauren about small talk, sheetrock, the weather. You, you guys know it. I mean, this is completely ridiculous, Casey. You are in a non-committed, non-relationship with Lauren. You need to get your shit together. With you. Free little getaway weekend, huh? Oh, yeah, for him. Oh, yeah. Free for him. Stays in your fucking house all weekend. Your house. Gets his fucking face in your ear and tells you all kinds of shit. Like, hey, that pedophile you're talking to you is a pedophile. You seem to stick up for the fucking cocksucker all the goddamn time. You certainly stand by him. Well, don't call him a cocksucker. No, well, he's a cocksucker. You're a cocksucker. No, I'm not. Out of the two of you, you're the, you're the only one who's had a nasty... Listen to you. Listen to you. Listen to you, Casey. Listen to you, Casey. You're the only one who's standing up for him again. Elbow. You're standing up for him again. Which one of you two has a picture online licking a dildo? I think it's the pedophile. Oh, there you go. Fucking stand up for him some more, Casey. Well, you're the one God calling him a cocksucker. God forbid anybody say something bad against Alex Jackass Jones. Alex Jack the billionaire oh, thug. The amazing theorist. That's no that's no chef boy our bitch, I gotta say. You know, I'm a little I expected better, you know. Lauren's uh Lauren's resume for coming up with nicknames, you know, speaks for itself. That's that's a little Lauren, back to the drawing board on that. The one. amazing the theorist. It's got the government after him. So he has to stay at Casey's him. house. What? On the weekends, the government can't get him at his house during the week. It's just on the weekends. They can find him at his house on the weekends, so he's got to hide at Casey's house. That makes a lot of fucking sense. It makes no sense. Why the government you probably wants never thought about you know, that. Or... What? Huh? So you probably never thought about that, did you? That the government can get him at his house during the week? That's not why he's staying at my house. That's what you told me. You're protecting your friend. You're protecting him. He's staying at my house so he doesn't drive home drunk. He doesn't like to do that unlike you. There you go. Protect him some more. Protect him from what? Are you going to oh, kill him? From me talking bad about him, Casey. What? But he's not here. He's not really Gotta protecting stay. him. Gotta, gotta stick up for him. He's not, but he, but he's not, he's not on the phone. So how is she protecting him? Again, Lauren doesn't know words. You're protecting him. So, okay, okay. you know what that, you know what that tells me? It tells me you love me. You know what that tells me, Lauren? Uh, she doesn't give a shit about you. She'd rather be with this guy. So get off the phone. You know, you got all these other fake people writing you letters. Answer one of those. Answer one of those. How about that? Only because you're talking Thank to you, about Sean. Act true. Well, look at what your friend's doing. What do you want me to doing. say? Yeah, he's a cocksucker. Look at what your friend's doing, Casey. He's talking look shit about he's me. Look what he's doing, Casey. for me to him? No, you're not. Well, you are. Instead the things he said about you are true. You no, I don't. You do, you do too. You change your damn number. I know he's probably told you more shit. Shit? Dude. You have a document that says you fantasize about children. I made the decision myself. I don't want you to have my number. Yeah, whose advice was that? Everyone's. Everyone's advice. Yeah, are you fucking kidding everyone, me? Well, you pointed everyone out it was Alex's advice. Everyone would tell me advice. not to give you my number. You pointed out it was Alex's advice. Uh, so, that, so that I wouldn't sue you in case you had, you, I thought it was catfishing you. I made the choice. Hey, I asked him if I did the right thing, and he yeah. said yes. What did Nobody you ask him for? <laughs> what do you mean? Because he's would her you friend. Him? He's her confidant. Because he's my friend, muse. and he has, gives me good advice. Why do you ask me? So who do you want me to ask? So you couldn't make the decision without asking him. I did make the decision, and then I asked him if I did the right thing. Because you didn't trust me. Right. Yes. Why would she trust you? Just like you don't trust me that I'm telling you the truth about this. Bingo. All right. You need the proof. And you need the proof. Oh, and you Lord, keep backing any, up. Every, you know that I'm trying to get you the proof. You know that I have not backed up on anything that I have said. You've been a consistent every, liar, every, yes. Every, I trust you know the multiple extent. professionals who have no reason to lie. You know the extent that I'm going to. To get the proof for you. 
Oh, yeah, yeah it's only by Powerball. You are trying very hard. You have the proof right now? Oh, my God, Powerball Jesus Christ, Casey. Casey. What do you want me to do? Go to the probation and say, you get that right now. Yeah, yeah. you can use Casey wants it right yeah, now. Yeah, Isn't he... Do I don't know how this works, but isn't he, like, entitled to these documents to a certain extent? Like, doesn't he have a right to them? Because they're about him. Again, I don't know. I'm not I'm not on probation. I don't work for probation. I am not a probation officer! But I would assume that they have to share them with him. I mean, so long as, like, I maybe there are some documents that they, you know, have to keep... And don't have to share with him because if they did, then I, I don't know. But I, I would assume most of the stuff, like the lie detector results and shit, I would assume that they'd have to share that with him legally. And he's acting like they just don't want to do it. I think that they have to. I think if you request it, they have to. That's exactly yeah. what I want you to do. Yeah, because Casey wants it right now. It has to happen. If you want to talk to me all day. Then yeah, then that's what I need. I mean, I guess he sacrificed some. I'm rights, not interested so in talking not. to someone who fantasizes about little girls. So yeah, well, I need the proof now. I guess you should have been talking to me then, shouldn't you? Are you acknowledging that you fantasize about little girls? I said you should have been talking to me because I don't that's fantasize about them. Then. I don't fantasize about them, Casey. No, it's not what the document says. Oh, it sounds like you said I shouldn't be talking to you. I said you should have been talking to me. Oh, it sounded like you said I shouldn't be. Well, it no. didn't say I shouldn't. Oh, I thought you said you, I shouldn't be. I said you should have been talking to me. One more time. Oh, okay. I thought you said I shouldn't be. There it is. You keep backing up, Casey. And yeah. Wouldn't you know damn well I'm telling you the truth? She doesn't know I don't know, that. know damn well you're telling this truth. I Thank trust you. the professionals who have no reason to lie. Hey, Given your previous charge, it makes perfect sense that you would fantasize about children, Lauren. It makes perfect sense to me. I have no reason to suspect that a psychological doctor, a probation Kitty. officer, and a polygraph test person Hi, are the ones Kitty. lying. You're the one who's lied to me many times. As far as I know, they're not liars. Yeah, I know, buddy. And because you've been charged for pedophilia before, and you're on a sex offender registry, it makes perfect sense that I would need proof for anyone in the world who wants to talk to you. Everyone needs proof that you're not a dangerous person. Yeah, it, exactly, uh, Chupa Grandson. Um, he doesn't want to give her any more evidence. Exactly. Like, he, he knows... Because even when he got it, remember, he wrote that, that thing that was like, as, as for this report, well, pardon my French, but it's bullshit. You know, th th he knew at the time, and then he thought that maybe Casey would just read the parts that, uh, that, that exonerated him, you know, that proved that he was innocent. And obviously she didn't, so that kind of backfired. He's like, maybe, just, you know, maybe, I'm taking a shot in the dark here. Maybe she'll just read those parts. And it didn't work. Um, and now he knows if he gives her... She's she's drawing a line in the sand. Um, I, I wish I, I understand like why Blue Boy did this, but I wish that Blue Boy would have been like, I just want the truth. Um, so no matter what this report says, you know, we'll talk about I need the report. I need to know the whole truth before I go and visit you because she's drawing a hard line in the sand right here. That's like, I'm not going to come and visit you Um until I have something that proves that you're not a pedophile, that you're not attracted to children anymore. And he knows that the audio of this, that she's trying to get him to send her, um, is going to prove that, that's ex that exactly what's written down is exactly what he says, and then there's no chance that she's going to come. So his only option here is to not send it and drag his feet. And so that's, that's why we never got it. I don't think he'd send it either way, to be honest with you. I think he'd be playing these games anyway. We'll come here, and then we'll listen to it. I think either way he'd be doing it, but this kind of shuts down any possibility of us of us getting it. But it does give us Lorne sounding like a fucking idiot and not knowing what he's talking about and running around in circles and not making any sense. So I guess we did get something out of it, you know. 
You have real life underage victims, Lauren. Oh, no response to that. Unbelievable. It really, it really is, is unfucking believable. It, it really is, is unfucking believable. It really is unfucking believable. I've I've been honest with you about the whole fucking thing. Well, told you I don't fucking know head. that, Lauren. You can say that all you want. I don't know that. Have I changed my story at all? It doesn't matter. No. Do you think you'd be able to tell something from that? No. No. You actually have changed your story. You know that I've been pissed off about this before you even noticed anything about it. Lauren, you've actually changed the story many times. First you said it was Sean, then you said it wasn't Sean. Yeah, well, I were confused. That was, that was my fault because I was super pissed off at Sean at the time, and everything was Sean's fault at the time. What a yeah, so you've idiot. changed it multiple times already. Keep fucking saying shit, Casey. It, it, uh, what? It doesn't matter. I didn't fucking say it anyway. So. All right. Well, then I hope you see that on the proof. No. Yeah. Oh, you'll see it on the proof, but you're backing up so fucking much. The, the thing is, is. You know, Why wouldn't I? I'm not going to get closer you? to a sexual predator. If, well, then you should keep fucking getting closer to me then. The story oh, about the high school girls has changed multiple times too. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, sure it is. Then the question the polygrapher asked, you changed also. No, oh, sure it is. Everything fucking changed. I tried to fucking... Be completely I'm telling you what you've changed about your story. I try to remember to you. I don't know. I don't need to go through it again because I already told you mm -hmm. how my memory is. You it's said it, not me. Think about it yeah. But as far as that, I've been pissed off about that since the first time I read it. No one cares. Because now know. it's a photo of your nephew, but before it was the high school crush. And you lie so much you can't what? even keep it straight. What? I said it was the high school what? I no. love when he gets confused. The part about the seeing the the minor naked? Oh my god. Yeah. That was my nephew. That's the only one. Hey, I got a question. Why'd you see your nephew naked recently? That's a question. It's a question. Why'd you see your nephew naked, Lauren? That's kind of weird. Why do you have naked pictures of your nephew? That's obviously not true. But why is that the lie that you went to? That's really weird. Even if it's not, even if it is true, which it's not. Why? Why did you see your nephew? Why are you seeing children naked? One that I've seen naked, a picture of naked. And you said, the, the report, you said the only one. You told me the psych report proved that you were misdiagnosed and you said it was going to exonerate you. There we go. Yeah. And what did I, what did I think? I didn't say he was going to exonerate me. You fucking threw that out on your own. Threw that out. And yet you were pissed about it at the time you got it. I like and see through the emails you sent. And you see right now how the story is changing? No. Not on my end, so. <laughs> I didn't say it, Casey. So, believe what you fucking want, you know. So you keep fucking backing up, and by the time we get the proof, you're going to be backed up so much. I don't know if there's going to be a chance for us anyway. I, I love when he tries to flip it on people. Like, Casey, you're just being crazy following this evidence and, and believing these people who haven't lied to you and not believing me. Like, what is wrong with you, Casey? I, I love when he does this. I, I wish... I don't even know how it would work, but I, I wish that there was, like, a way to turn the tables on him. Like, I don't know, a catfish that just, like, lies to him constantly and then gets mad when he doesn't believe them, you know? And again, I, I like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how it would work, but I, I just, how, you, we know how he would respond. It'd be a fruitless endeavor. You just keep backing up. Well, that's the risk that we have to take, unfortunately, because I'm not going to keep getting close to you if you're a pedophile. Um, well, I'm not, so you should keep getting close to me. Yeah, you said that well, several times. Well, I'll see that on the here. proof. Hopefully we get the proof soon. 
you good, Alex, and you, you fucking whisper and everything. Don't tell me you don't, because you already told me you did. All right, that was 57 on to 58. Hi. Hello? There you are. I can hear you this time. Oh, wow. Different uh, mood. It feels good to hear your voice. Yeah. What are you doing? Yep. I am sitting on my bed watching TV and eating watermelon. Oh, eating watermelon? For dinner? Yeah. Yeah, well, kind of. <laughs> I was kind of a pig today. <laughs> I, oh, yeah? I, yeah, we did a lot today, so... Mm -hmm. Uh, this is like an early Casey call. What are you guys thinking? One in the chat for listen, two in the chat for skip. Let me know. One was listen, two was skip. Today, all day long, what did I... I had a bowl of cereal this morning. And a banana. And a glass of orange juice. Jeesh. For lunch, I think I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> and then I had... Uh, Roy had, I don't know, some things uh, he, he bought from the store, cheeseburger and chicken burger things. Right. So oh. I had a cheeseburger, yeah. Wow. I, I usually don't eat them cheeseburgers from the store. I like my own you know. bar, grilled cheeseburgers. But I had like that. Really? I love grilling. It's awesome. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and I make burgers perfect. Like, yeah, literally yeah. Perfect. Nice How do you juice. make them? Perfect. I, I just, uh, I used to put Montreal steak seasoning sauce on, uh, seasoning on, but mm -hmm. I ran out of. All right, I'm, I'm gonna skip it. Um, I almost made like a, a Bob's Burgers, uh, Lauren thing for the stream. That would have been weird. All right, fifty nine. I actually would like to have a house on a lake. Oh no! That's oh god, no! So pretty. Yeah, and the, yeah. that's actually what I plan on getting, like yeah. maybe in the maybe what? In the next year or two. Mm -hmm. and, uh, how? I plan. So he has plans on getting it. How? Yeah. Does like did he forget? Like you have to have money to buy things. I, I, his fantasies are beyond me. And I, like I don't know. Nice big windows in the back so that it, you can see the lookout and see the lake. Mm -hmm. and, and I like to have a loft with a master bedroom. I know exactly the house, the kind of house that I want because I mean, it's actually been built already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it, yeah, but somebody else owns it. it. Uh, yeah, somebody else owns it. And I actually knew the people that acted that that actually had it built. Okay. So, but they sold it to somebody else a long time ago. Those they bastards. Get divorced. And, but it's, it's just such a pretty house. But it's also yeah. up in the, in the town that I don't want to live in. Oh, okay. So, oh, well. I have to pick, yeah, I have to pick a different lake and build a different house. Just a reminder, everyone, um, around this time, he has $3 in his checking account. He was overdrawn in his savings, and he had debts of like fifteen thousand dollars in in just one bank account. And we also know he owes money elsewhere. Um, to like scam, he gave money to scammers, and he took out a loan with a casino. So he has negative fifteen hundred bucks to his name at this point in time. Just remember that throughout this call. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. Yeah. What's your house like? What's uh -oh. my house like? <laughs> my, house, uh, my house is actually my uncle's trailer that Ooh. I've been oh. tearing apart and rebuilding and adding on to it. How's that going? And that's <laughs> why that's why I don't want to live here. What a yeah, fucking asshole. Never. You're, you're given a place to live for free. And, I, and I've said it before, but it's like, he's so ungrateful. He's given a free place to live as a pedophile coming out of jail with nothing to his name. His family could have just gone, ah, fuck you. Good luck. Best of luck, Lauren. Bye. Bye. They could have just fucked off, right? But instead they helped him. And he, well, it's not it's not really where I want to live. I want to, I want to get a beach house with my $3. Bye. I'm not going to do it for a little while. Got a summer beanie babies. Fuck you. 
Fuck you. You fucking ungrateful asshole. And he has the gall to throw his family under the bus. Like, my family took advantage of me. That's where everything started going wrong. I just want the hurting to stop. I've been in the trailer before. You haven't? No. Oh, this this isn't really like any normal trailer anymore. You're, you're like goddamn right it's not. And oh, yeah. The whole thing. You're goddamn right it's so, not like any other still, trailer. It's, it's like it doesn't matter how much I do to it. it the, the realtor told me that it's not going to increase the value of the property. So it's like I thought about just after doing everything I've done, I thought about just tearing it apart and building a house. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to live in Cornville, so I'll just right. finish the trailer and I'll build a house somewhere else and either rent rent this property here out or sell it or, or something. Yeah. But Sounds I, like I don't you got it all figured out. Yeah, because I don't, I don't want to live here. I mean, the biggest reason I'm living here right now really is because of mom. She's bringing Scout mm -hmm. and, and it's only like seven miles away from her. Gotcha. So, so we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, though. But there are places that you would love to live. Like where? Lake. Like down by Round Pond where my brother lives, that's nice down there. That's close. That's close to the coast. There. I do like the ocean. I love surfing. Yeah, can be cold surfing in Maine though. Well, I guess the ocean's cold anyway. Either way. Um. Hell, I'd like to live down by the coast too. Yeah, and, and get away from the trees. Yeah, well, no, I like get away from the trees. <laughs> uh, we'll still have trees, <laughs> just won't be as many. <laughs> so uh, you go? You said you go skiing a lot. I used to go when a like a long time ago, and I haven't been mm -hmm. in years. Last time I went, I was in the Air Force. We had a, a ski. Uh, a, mountain right on the right on the base and that was the last is time that a, i went there's an air force base there in maine no i was i was stationed in alaska oh i, I was up with his real winter weather <laughs> right yeah awesome yeah cool. yeah so where do you ski there. then in maine where do you go oh well, you got oh let me see you got squaw mountain I get to remember all the mountains. Mount Katahdin has has some. Mount uh, Mount Katahdin is actually well, where, the highest So, in Maine. well, the last time you skied in Maine, what mountain did you like going to? That was I'm trying to remember the name of it. Ah, oh, shit! It's in Carabasa. The name the name of the town is Carabasa. Okay. Damn. I can't remember. The, I can't believe I can't remember the name of that. <laughs> it begins with an S. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look it up. Yeah. And, and find out. Tell you, the, the three kids that I used to babysit when I was a teenager and their mother, we used to go there all the time. Go skiing. What? She, she's the one that taught me how to. Ski. I'd like to point out. Um. Denise had kids. Right, Lauren's, Lauren's 29-year-old girlfriend when he was 19. I think Denise was the mother of children that Lauren would babysit. I believe that, weirdly enough. Um, and he never dated Denise. Of course not. But he perved on her children. And uh, that's what I think that's about. And also, I was taking my dog out for a second. My dog's out for a second. And I noticed when Lauren said... So he was, they were talking about trees... And Lauren was like, well, there's still a lot of trees for us. Or, well, we can still see trees or something. He included her already. This is like a very early call. They're just talking. And he's like, he's already in his mind decided that they're going to live together and get married. She, and, blah, 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 blah. and she kept oh, looking really? behind her. Yeah, <laughs> she kept looking behind her and she ran right into a bunch of trees. Oh, small goodness. trees. Yeah, thank God they were small trees, but... <laughs> All I could think was, holy crap, she's teaching me how to ski. <laughs> yeah, so that was too funny when that happened. Mm -hmm. but, but I thank God, I love that. I love skiing down there. But see, the skiing there, that's not far from here. It's in the Squaw Mountain. 
crime to sound more interesting. Eaton Mountain, which is really close to here. Uh, mm -hmm. There's... Um, Mount Katahdin. Mm -hmm. the, there's a lot of mountains around here, actually, that have ski slopes on them. I can't, I can't list off all the names of them because I haven't been to all of them. But there's a lot of mountains here. And there's a lot of lakes, too. Mm -hmm. But the further north you go, there's less, less population. So it's like... Oh, well, yeah. For, further south... Less population. population. So... If you move here back here to Maine, we can move down by the coast. Because I'd have a good job and you started a dancing school. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you don't, don't want to leave me out of it, do you? <laughs> she doesn't live there. Dude, if I, if I was on the phone with, like, you know, if it was, like, Margot Robbie, right? She was like, yeah, we should uh, we should move in together. I'd be like, holy shit, yeah, fuck yeah. But if I was on the phone with, like, a normal woman who I just met, right? And she was like, let's move in together. I'd be like, whoa, no, uh, fuck. What have I told you? What information do you have on me? Uh, how quickly can I get the fuck out of this? That'd be such a huge red flag. Even if you went on, like, a bunch of dates with someone and it went really well over the course of, like, a couple of months, you know, two months, and they're like, we should move in together. Are you insane? Are you fucking insane? No, I don't know you. You could be a murderer. You could have been faking it for two months. I'm not moving in with you. What are you, crazy? Now imagine they're a registered sex offender on probation for life. Like, whole, ho, ho. Uh -huh. Restraining order. See, I got it all figured out. You started dancing school. You yeah, you got it all got figured out, do you? Yeah, a lot of dancers lot there. Yeah, a lot of elderly people that, that want to learn how to how to do things and get out and do things. There's younger people that want to learn all the dancing and do all the yoga and stuff. And mm -hmm. you, you'd make some good money back here, especially oh, down great. by the coast. More than yeah, California? Never thought about it. Yeah, now I get you thinking about that, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that that would really be awesome. Yeah. Think about this too. All of our family is back here on the East Coast. All of our family? He's already talking See? about them as a collective. See what? Your family? All um, of yours, too. You're from New Jersey. Yes, yeah, I have some family so? there. Some family See? here. See? Like family there, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> and, and he thinks that this is like flirting. You know, like this is the, like, uh, it's 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 the it's like the LOLs in the chat with Kayla. Like he 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 means it, but in case she would be like, oh my god, what are you crazy? He he's laughing at the end of it. It's like a joke. The, even as a joke, this is so. Why are you joking about this? It's like if you went on a date with a girl and she was joking about getting married, you'd be like, ah ha ha, yeah. Um, hey, I gotta head out, um, but I'll text you, and then you block her, right? The fact that he thinks that this is cute blows my mind. <laughs> what a Yeah, I've been out there. here for almost ten years now. You've only been out there for ten years? Mm-hmm. What made you move out there? The acting? Yeah. The tacos, Lauren. If, actually, you probably could get acting jobs from the, back here in Maine. Oh, definitely. Well, Stephen it's King lives in Bangor. Oh, Stephen oh, King? King yeah. Is, yeah. Stephen King lives in Bangor. Huh? Just knock on his door, ask if he can give me a job. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I bet I could probably get a hold of him. Yeah, I bet you could. I, so. I really oh. I, well, then why didn't you? You guy, wrote a uh, book. Well, why didn't you get a hold of him? Station, but there's another, another. If you could get a hold of him, why didn't you? Uh, to promote your book, that would have been huge. If you can get Stephen King to do your fa to 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 do you favors, why didn't you 
when you wrote a book, when you wrote two books. Like, what is Stephen King? Like, like Stephen King is just on standby for when a radio host of a radio program that he went on 25 years ago calls him up and says, hey, this guy that is the brother of a guy whose, whose couch I crashed on 25 years ago, he's a pedophile, and he his girlfriend is an actress. Can you get him a job? I bet he thinks that that's serious. I bet that he actually thinks that he could get a hold of Stephen King and that Stephen King would do him some favors. That's fucking insane. I, I think he actually thinks that. Like, a part of him actually thinks that. Like, if Casey were to get out here, he could work that miracle. S suddenly, if he got a girlfriend, suddenly, you know, watch me work miracles. She doesn't even say something like that, you know. With a woman that believes in me, I can work miracles. I think he believes that. Another guy that, that I know that works at a radio station, another one that Stephen King owns, but he knows a lot of a lot of celebrities. Oh, he okay. A lot of celebrities. And Just he actually, so? Yeah, she stayed over my house one night with uh, with my brother, another one of my brothers. And, um, Stephen we, King, well, well, stay with your brother? Huh? Huh? Stephen King stays with your brother? No, no. The guy that, that worked at a radio station that uh, knows a lot of celebrities, he, mm -hmm. he stayed over my house one night when I had my septic business, and I lived in a different town. Mm -hmm. he, him and another one of my brothers stayed over my house that night. And we went out to the bar and everything. And, well, he, he's got all kinds of pictures of all kinds of celebrities that he's met, and He's, and plus, he's on the radio all the time, but he knows all kinds of celebrities. Okay, yeah. um, I have a brother-in-law, and he works, like, pretty closely with a famous singer. That doesn't mean that I know that famous singer or that I could get her to do me some favors. Like, hey, I know someone who knows someone who's... Re like, their relationship isn't such that, like, she owes him a few favors, and it's the same with his his friend that isn't his friend and Stephen King. Like, where, 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 why do you think that this friend of yours owes you a favor? And why do you think that this friend, you know, quotation marks, of yours, uh, Stephen King owes them some favors? Like, wh where, wh why? That's really weird. Why, why do you think that? That's a weird leap. I think well. he... I think he knows Stephen King, so. So? I don't um, know. Reach out to him for me. Don't tell him that his movies are stupid. <laughs> I'll tell him, you know, I know somebody that would be perfect in your movies. Where? Mm -hmm. Oh, what part, Lauren? That's what I'll tell him. I'll say, oh, I'm okay. perfect person for you to play in your next movie. Yeah. Have you read any of his books? No. I just, yeah. I've watched a couple of his movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're awful. Yeah, I know. That's, that's why I don't <laughs> read them. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna. You he's gonna yeah, that's read why. No, I, I, I have moments when I do, and moments mm -hmm. when I don't. And it's like, well, actually, when I was incarcerated, I. I yeah, the singer is Jeff Kirshen. I actually wrote more than one book, but. You wrote but a book. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't spend my time not doing anything. When I think no, I he wrote the it. world's <laughs> shittiest book ever. But What's I, that? I wrote, God, I, what? a couple of summers ago, um, I read *Taken Abroad* with Cornville Three Way. It was it was a great time, and I really want to read it again. But I know that nobody likes the book. But like, oh my God, it's so good, you guys. I mean, it's horrible, but it's so good in the sense of like making fun of Lauren. I don't know why more people don't love it. God, you guys suck. You guys need to get into literature. When, when I got out, my mom wanted me to publish it. And so <laughs> I, I, would, I would write some in it, and then I'd send it back to her. And she'd read it. And then I'd write some more of it, and I'd send it back to her, and she'd keep reading it. Why don't you she send it to Stephen to, King? To you it apparently know him. Out, so I self-published it. It's, oh, called, wow. it's called Taking Abroad. If you go on ondemandbooks.com, Bam books. You'd be, able to find it. You'd be able to find it on there. But that, oh, okay. What's it about? That's genius. Should, I should have founded Bam it's books. It's about 100, 
hundred and some odd pages long. <laughs> no. <laughs> you want to know? You're going to know you're gonna read gonna... it. <laughs> he so doesn't even remember. Hey, hang on a second. I'll, I'll read to you what it's spelled. So I've got a copy right. of the radio. You can't remember? It's your book. I think I get a copy of the radio. Yeah, radio. Danny you just can't remember off the top of your head what it's about. Hey, Wayne Tech. Um, I do, but it's, <laughs> it's better if I read it from hey, the Johnny back of the Doom. Book. Okay. Why? Your book. Ahead. Just you fucking can, read it. You get a better picture of it. Picture. Okay. All right. I can turn, my, turn my light on, you know. <sighs> you put my reading glasses on now. Your reading glasses? Yes. I had started yes. wearing reading glasses like a year and a half ago. Why? Shocked the hell out of me. I looked at the, looked at the book and I was trying to read. No. And I was like, why is this getting all blurry on me? Mm-hmm. Blurry, blurry. I had to that down. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm still young. <laughs> I don't know if 50 is young. Yeah. In, my, in my mind, I am. Right. Well, that might be true. Uh, okay. You can come Very to my cool. elderly hip hop class. <laughs> come to your what? My elderly hip hop class. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Come dance with uh, the old ladies. <laughs> It was, uh, yeah, 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 I'd be the youngest one there, and all the yeah, others would be 75 and older, right? Yeah, but you look the oldest. <laughs> yeah. Well, you saw the way I danced, so, you know, you yeah, got to play you know. where you keep that. Mm-hmm. You can show them how it's done. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at me go. I step side to side <laughs> and swing my arms a little. <laughs> all right. I feel, ha, like, ha, ha, ha. I feel like such an idiot doing that. Read the book, yeah, asshole. I was no, like, here I am no. for, for somebody that dances professionally. Yeah, I Read the back of the book. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'll, I'll read this to you. Okay. Okay. Preparing for life after high school. Aaron, Aaron I'm having a hard time seeing the words here. Yeah. Off the book. Hey, Coyote Lady. Preparing for life after high school. Aaron high school. to the Army. Anxious to serve his country and Anxious. fight for what he believed in. Mm-hmm. After losing his closest What's friend that? to a sniper, Aaron lost it while in the field and spent three months lose? in a psychiatric ward until he, until being shipped home. Once home, he falls in love with Brooke, a girl he meets on a blind date. Okay. Not long after getting engaged, he begins having nightmares of his time in Iraq. Oh, no. In the Iraqi war. But he puts it off as, as nothing serious. What is he like? When the idiot? nightmares become more intense, Brooke talks to Aaron about seeing a psychiatrist, and because of the deep love that Aaron has for his family, he agrees. Okay. Unfortunately, the intense sessions with the psychiatrist don't help. Oh, no. The night- nightmares begin to affect Aaron further. Aaron can no longer fight the right and wrong of the murders he's about to commit. In the end, just wait, 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 wait. With the harp- he can no longer fight the right and wrong of the murders he's about to commit. What's the right of the murders he's about to commit? Because he didn't say he can no longer fight, like, whether it's right or wrong. Just the rights and the wrongs of the murders he's about to commit. So what's the right? What's the what's the good part of the murder he's about to commit, Lauren? Where, where's the good in murder? Hey, the Lauren Files. Heartbreaking death that hey, Aaron did not plan on. Sounds there like you a go. Gay book. Okay. So it's about PTSD. It's about what? What? I mean PTSD. Kind of, yeah. Well, what else is it about? Okay. It, it's a. It, it's about some uh, a kid that goes in into the into the military after school and has things has the gas post traumatic stress in the bits. It's pretty much about that. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what she just asked. I'll have to buy it. Yeah. Well, yeah. You don't have to buy it. Just come here and you can read it. Oh. <laughs> Sneaky on that one, huh? <laughs> yeah, you got me. Yeah. I'd like to have you. Oh. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got to get you to move to me. Can you not move? Oh. Like- well, I, I can't but I have to get permission from them. Oh. Uh, it's, like, it's like I can get permission from probation. 
They have to okay it on California, and I have to have to play. Imagine how humiliating that is. Like, yeah, and he he said it with uh you know. No, like he didn't like. There was no part of him that was trying to hide that. Is it, it's like he's a child. I, yeah, well, I have to get permission from my parents before I. If I'm gonna stay out past ten thirty, I gotta get permission from my parents. You're a grown adult man. I got I gotta get permission from probation. But they'll probably let me do it. Place to be out there and somebody that I know, and the area has well, to be right. You got your family, don't you? Uh, out in California? Yeah. No, they're not out there anymore. I don't think uh, you have to know somebody yeah, out both there. Both uncles came back and one died. And both of my brothers moved back here a long time ago, too. Well, how much longer are you on that for? They've got me on a supervised, uh, supervision for life. Supervised release for life. So it's uh, okay. what my, from, what my, from what my lawyer told me. Mm-hmm. When, when I said uh, before I signed the plea agreement, he said that this is what it is, but it's once you take this class, but you, you have go back to court and a problem. and get off supervised release because they don't want people being on supervised release if they're not a threat to the community. Oh, and like, okay. I, I haven't been a, a threat for God knows how long, and, well, and they still had me in that class, and I figured out. Didn't you just go back I to jail? I figured out why. They have me in there today, so I got to call my lawyer tomorrow. Yeah. I've already got my lawyer working on getting me out of that class. Mm-hmm. Like I should have been, uh, should have been oh. out of that class in, within like a year and a half time from what right. they told me from the start. Pass it. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I've never seen anybody get out of that class in a year and a half time. And and it's like so they have a book. You've been in the class since you got out. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, okay. Let's talk about that. No one gets out of the class in a year and a half. I think that a year and a half is like if you do all the coursework and you do it correctly and you engage and blah, 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 you get out of it in a year and a half. And the reason that nobody gets out of it in a year and a half is that I I imagine it's not the smartest folks that are in there. You know, I I imagine it's a lot of people like Lauren who can't quite get it and don't understand it and need a lot of, you know, coaxing and working with and – it takes them a lot longer than the minimum time it would take to get out of that class. And he thinks it's like you're guaranteed to get out of it in a year and a half. It's it's not – you have to work your way out of it. You just get yeah. out. And I, I, uh, there, there's one person that, I, that I've seen get out of the class. And, and I've actually had four different counselors. Jesus Christ. For four years I had, I had one counselor. But then – all of a sudden, they somebody got the contract. They, they sell the contracts, and it's it's like they go with the lowest bidder. And somebody somebody else had gotten the contract, and I was with that person for a year. Mm-hmm. And then another person got the contract, and I was with that person for a year or two. And then Wait, now, so the, what is this class for exactly? It, it's for the sex offender treatment class. He even said that, so... That's what it's like, called. Sex find a treat clash. Okay. Um, and you've been in it since you got out? Yeah. And there's a book that you have to finish. And Must be a big book. Even, <laughs> well, it, it, was, it actually was pretty thick. And, well, the thing is, is... You don't have to click and complete all the assignments in the book. Okay. But I took my time, and I took four years, and I completed every assignment. No, you until, didn't. Until I, until I felt good about what I had completed. You, you felt good? You We've read some of your assignments. You felt good about that? You felt good? I wish I was his fucking probation officer. I don't give a shit if I'd be, you know, awful. It doesn't matter. I, I would, I, I'd be like, you feel good about this? She 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 lured me to the house. I'd read I'd read him back his chat log, and his and his shit. See, this is why he'd never like accept a male therapist or whatever. I I would hold I would hold his feet to the fucking fire every single time, until finally, he went, yes, okay, Jesus, it was my fault. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus fucking Christ, eel. Yeah, I completed the assignment. No, 
No. I would explain it to him like this, okay? You finished a Spanish workbook and you don't speak Spanish. Are you done with Spanish class? Oh well, yeah, you finished the book. No, you fucker. You're not done with Spanish class because you don't speak Spanish. You fucking sack of shit. How stupid are you? I, fi I finished the book. It doesn't matter if you finished the book. You do not speak Spanish. The object of this class is to speak Spanish. You do not speak Spanish, so you are not passing. Is that understood? Well, I finished the work, but I, you know what? Back to jail. Back to jail. I'm, I'm calling up Judge Woodcock. We're getting something arranged. You're going back to jail. I'll talk to you in six months. Maybe you'll have a different, maybe you'll sing in a different tune in six months, asshole. That went through everything, so that way I felt I felt good about it myself. Because I, I had I had a lot of things happen well, to me, so, so it's like I, I, don't, I had a lot of things happen to me. Of, you know what brought me to that point where I he tried to molest a bunch of kids. Able to do something so terrible. I had a lot of things that happened to me. Mm -hmm. So I want to understand finished, your point. You finished the book. No, oh, God, like I finished the book. Yeah, I, I, I finished the book four years ago. And they still haven't let me out of class. So that's why I, 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 we've been, me and my family has been bitching about it for last four years. Me and my years. family. And finally, it's just, just got tired of it. They, they can't even give me a reason now why I'm in there. Really? I, I'd love to talk with his probation. Hey, why is he still in there? He hasn't passed the class. Why hasn't he passed the class? Because he refuses to take accountability for what he did. Oh, that's a reason. Okay. Hey, Lauren, they just gave me a reason. Well, that's not a reason, because I do take accountability. If other people wouldn't have done things to me, then I wouldn't have done them bad things in the first place. That's not a accountability, Lauren. Yes, it is. I did them things. I weren't going to do them things. But I did them things. F fucking asshole. Weird. So, get me in there. Yeah, so, now it's like I, get, I got, a, got a lawyer, so... We can either figure out why they still have me in there or get me out of there. And I'm, I'm shooting for them to get me out of there. Well, you they said you, me a reason. Well, you said you found out today the reason, right? Well, the reason's basically I'm not a pedophile. I have, I have an idea of the reason. And you it's should. it's really not a reason because it has nothing to do with being a threat to the community. I would bet every dollar I have that he has been told out straight the reason. Lauren, here's why you're still in the class. You have not passed the class. We do not feel that you have taken adequate accountability for your actions. You're still trying to shift it off onto someone else. You still say the same things that you said the day you got in here. I, I would bet everything that they have told him out straight, as he would say, why he's still in that class. And, and he has the gall to go, they, they won't tell me. They won't tell me why I'm in the class. I don't know. I do everything that they tell me. I mean, I don't. I was just sent back to prison for that very reason. But other than that, other than that one time, other than all those times I drank when I wasn't supposed to, other than them, I've been doing everything that they've told me, except for all the other stuff I haven't been doing that they told me. Which is basically the reason why you're in that class. class. So yeah. to make sure you're not, not a threat to the community. Well, and you are. You drunk drive all the time. That I think it is. Mm -hmm. It's not even being a threat to the community. Yeah, some crazy conspiracy, I, th I bet. So you're in there because you're not a threat to the community? That, that's that's what I'm getting from it. <laughs> for, for okay. what that's what you... See? Boom. Right there. That's why you're still in the class. Because you think you're in the class because you're not a threat to the community. Right there. Hey, Tracy Hamill, I know. I love me, too. I'm pretty great. Hey, Eureka's mom. Uh, from what I heard today, mm -hmm. it, well, it's not just today that, that I heard it, because it took today for me to realize, you know, this is, the, this is like the, the, the 20th time that they've told me the same thing. Mm. And it's like, you know, it just dawned on me that this has got to be the reason why they still have me in here. Oh, so they didn't say that. That's because where you came from. Yeah, not that's Oh, I've asked them. I've asked them right out straight. Oh, yeah. They won't give and me what, a reason. They just Famously, they life? refuse to answer questions. They, they just tell me, is it hurting you being in there? I'm like, well, no, it doesn't hurt me being there. Everybody should have counseling. It's good for them. It's you need to go to counseling. To talk, be able to talk to people. Get out the, but the, the thing is, is, 
I'd rather have a one-on-one session with somebody. It doesn't matter. It does not matter what you want. It. Do, uh, I said it earlier in this stream, right? He has no appreciation for what this entity is. It does. Uh, it doesn't matter. Lauren might as well say, "Well, I don't want to be in in probation. I want to win the lottery." It doesn't fucking matter. That's great. No one gives a shit. That has nothing to do with why you're in that class. It, it's it, it's a hundred percent separate. It is. It has no bearing what you want. This is not. You're not paying for this. You're you're mandated to do it because you're a registered sex offender. Because you committed a crime against several children. You you have to work with them. It's not they have to work with you. They're lucky to get assigned Lorne Armstrong. You have to work with them if you would like to get off of probation. It's been a decade. And he, for some reason, that's just like a concept too, too beyond him to understand. You are not in the driver's seat. Again, it's like with it's like earlier with Casey. Like I am the table. No, we're both the table. You have no leverage here. You are bringing nothing to the table. It, it it's not hurting them having you in class. It's not well. It is hurting the other people in class, and it's annoying the teachers. But it's not it's not causing them a disruption to their life. They have to host that class. They have to be at work doing this job. You being there is not it's not harming them. You hold no leverage. And he thinks that it's like, well, I give a little, you give a little. No. Th they give nothing. You give everything. This is why he's never going to get out of class. I'm not understanding. So what's the issue then? The issue is that they, they have me in. They just won't tell you. Yeah, they won't, they won't tell me what the reason is. Hmm. So they, they can't come up with a reason. They've got to have a valid reason. It's well, like they got to have looking. a reason, otherwise they let you out. Yeah, well, that, that's that's the thing though. They're not telling me what the reason is. So in order for me to find out the reason, I have to get a, I have, I have to actually have a lawyer to, to do it. Mm -hmm. and oh, okay. And I, thought, and I must have misheard you. I thought you said you figured out the reason. Oh, oh, I, I think I figured it out. So I get a. Um, Jennifer Lewis, I. I think um, most of his family, there people have said that like Roy stopped talking to him too. But I think it's just his mom and Roy and Paul. I think talks to him. Um, he, he's talked about like doing jobs with Paul, whatever in the past. But other than that, I think everyone, every one of his family members who has children, completely cut him off, and he doesn't go to like Thanksgiving or Christmas with the rest of the family. So it's it's just at this point it might just be Paul and I don't even know like we haven't heard very much about Paul. So it might just be Lauren's mom that talks to him and Aunt, Aunt Sharon, although we haven't heard anything about her in a long time. But yeah, like fuck dude. Tell my lawyer tomorrow and tell him what what I think. So that so he can so he he knows what I'm hearing from the counselor from probation. Oh. <clears throat> what do you think it is at the issue? Issues. I think it's because because they want me to get out in, in the community more oh and, and socialize. That's not they, they no. Oh. Uh, that may be part that, of it. That may that be a contributing factor. Okay, that may be a contributing factor. Like, you're having all these internet relationships that are causing you to drink, right? Because he blamed Ramona for all of his drinking with Allie. And then, I know, I'm sorry I'm talking a bunch, but it's just, whatever. Like, the calls are on Blue Boy's channel if you want to listen to that. I, they don't, that's not their big issue. That's part of it, because they can't verify the people's age that you're talking to online. So that's part of it. They want you to talk to actual people in real life, and maybe that'll help you, like, get out into the community and not feel the need to drink and not and not be a danger because being online is where you committed your crime and help like reintegrate you into society because you've never done that after leaving jail so it's it's not that's not the reason why you're in class and and no one told you that that was people out in the community and it's like i meet people out in the community every day 
Uh, hey, Cornell Three Way and Nate. I go to the stores and I talk to people, but it, it's like that's I not. I don't. Oh, you come out on dates and stuff come like on. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you yeah, really? Don't, you don't go out on dates, Laura? Like, I, I don't go bowling. I don't go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't go bowling. <laughs> Why do I need to go bowling? <laughs> you think it's possible? They mean like volunteering, no. not just like talking to strangers. Well, volunteering would be bad. He's literally never thought of that before. Mm. Well. Huh. huh. That's something nobody said to me yet. Volunteering. Which I've like, no, well, actually. Well, you said they said I, to go out to the community. So, that's what that means, I think. Well, and I've, I've volunteered before because I went over the humane site and volunteered over there. No, lie, lie, put lie. Put down? Huh? You put dogs down? Oh, God, no. Do I put dogs down? Yeah, like put them to sleep. Is that what you did? No. That's what Good I would God, do. God, no. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Dude, I would, not, I, I would not be laughing at that. You would love my dogs, really. Why? Probably not. I, I've never I, met I, a dog I like. I bet you would. Uh, I bet you Why? Like she won it. One of them, them outside. One of them is extremely skittish. And so she was abused before. She spends all, the majority of her time before. she spends on the bed, just laying on the bed. The fuck? And Roscoe is like her safety net. And Why aren't you? He, he's old. He used to be rambunctious before, but now rambunctious. he's older, settled down. Now, I think I think after these two, I don't want to get any more because, you know, I've, I've had dogs all my life. And yeah. It, it, it's, it's they shed, they smell bad. Well, well yeah, I must give them baths and stuff. <laughs> I mean, there are ways to get around them smelling bad. <laughs> uh, I guess. Get the buy food. They need attention all the time. Yeah, but you, you think about how loyal uh. they are. Think about how loyal they are to you, how much protection yeah, they are. Yeah, think about how, okay, protection, fuck that. But I, I bet if anyone came to his trailer, those dogs would be dying to leave with them. So protection, get that the fuck out of the window. But, yeah, let's let's zero in on that, okay? Look at how loyal they are. Yeah, and how do you treat them? You let them suffer with medical maladies for, for months on end so that you can buy cigarettes and beer to, to go over to Tony's. That's how you treat... These, these undyingly loyal things that are unfortunately held captive by you. That's how you treat them. The only things, I, you know, maybe his dogs do love him, right? Because they're, uh, they're all that they know, right? Maybe they do love him. And that, that this is how he treats the only thing that, that loves him. By refusing to get them the medical care that they deserve, by buying them bottom-of-the-barrel food, it's just it makes me so mad how he treats those dogs. I'd rather oh, die. He's never they, taken them oh, for a walk. Say that. You can't die. When I just get the guilt to start talking here. <laughs> I, I do love dogs, but it's so hard when something happens and you don't have them. It's, like uh, getting like arrested what? for trying to molest a child? No. Um... When when the sting happened, I had I had when the sting happened, my my black lab that I had when I was down there in Nashville, and I actually had him when I, I had, when I got my CDL and I was out in Washington State. They they actually sent me one time to to Georgia, and that's where I found Bud. He was he was abandoned and abused. His, his ribs were were showing. He had scars. Why are head, all of your dogs? <laughs> Why are all of the dogs that Lauren gets abused? Why are they always abused? And he makes up these backstories for things. Like, maybe this is actually how he found Bud, but I don't remember how he found Sadie. But he just proclaims that she was abused. With no... I, I don't know that we've ever heard the backstory of how Sadie was abused. You know, when I first got Max, like when my family first got Max, he was very shy. He was a little puppy, and he was afraid, and we had a, a St. Bernard... <laughs> Uh, our neighbors had a St. Bernard. Um, so, you know, for a little tiny puppy, that's, that's probably scary. Um, but like within a week, 
you know, he stopped being scared of shit because we were around and we took care of him and we loved him and he was safe, right? I gotcha. You don't need to worry. Why is your dog still skittish? And I know that, like, you know, dogs can go through trauma and, you know, it's not just a matter of, like, having a loving, caring home and whatever. But it's been years. It's been most of your dog's life that they've been in your care. Like, what did they do? And moreover, like, Sadie goes up to people when Dan and Emma visited, right? She went right up to them. She was loving them. What? Why is she only skittish when you're alone with her? That's really weird. If my dog was running up to other people but was afraid to be around me, uh, that that would that would set off some alarm bells in my head. I'd be like, that hmm, maybe I'm doing something that's causing her to be skittish. It never crosses his mind. Never thinks about it for a second. I was I was talking to my sister in law on the um, on the the dock, you know, on the payphone on the dock and. And he come over and started barking at me. So I got off the the phone with her. And from oh. a distance, he looked like a full grown dog. But then I got up close and I realized he was just a puppy. And the nearest house was like twenty miles away. So I threw him up in the truck and fed him two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and, and had him ever since that. I read him for nine years, right up till the point. Of- I am I am so glad that Bud was taken away. Like imagine the hell of a life that Bud went through up until the point of the sting right if lauren is accurately relaying this you know he had a horrible early life he had a a horrible puppyhood or whatever you call it and then he gets taken by lauren he lives in a shitty apartment lauren takes him out for like two minutes we see in the chat log he takes bud out for like two seconds and okay back inside to talk to kayla Uh, even before that you know in uh in nashville right i i i doubt that lauren was a good pet owner so finally, but hopefully, you know, got a good life after, after this thing. We can only pray. But he's acting like he rescued him. No, Lauren, you contributed to the abuse of that animal. Of the sting. And when the sting happened. When the sting happened. I had to have my, my best friend, Tony. Best friend. Uh, go down. He wore a good Maine, down to Nashville and get him. So that, that was rough on me. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, but but he won't. So where you don't was, have that dog anymore? Oh no, no, he's probably dead by now. He he probably died. Oh wow. Yeah, he, oh, cause he was nine when when the sting happened. And mm, yeah, probably so, dead. Yeah, he's, he's probably he probably died four four or five years ago. Four yeah, or five. Probably. He was a he was a really good dog. Dog. Every dog I have is really good dog. Just, yeah, unfortunately, that's the world's them. worst owner. Mm. They've got a, oh, well. they've got a lot of love in them. Well, maybe not the world's worst. They've got a lot of love in them. Right. I well, have, I have a cat too. Yeah. Okay. Here's something to tell you. Mm. Okay, down in southern Maine, mm-hmm. which is which is around the area that where a lot of rich people are down there. Well, there's, there's the malls down there. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to go far to go to the malls. So? Okay. Again, uh, what the fuck was that? Again, he's confusing. Like, he, he's going to say some racist comment at some point. I don't think we've gotten to it yet. But he's going to say something like, there aren't very many Mexicans around here. He's confusing Winnie with the actual Casey. And right here, he's confusing Kayla with the actual Casey, which doesn't make any sense, but again, he's fucking 87. Kayla loved malls. You know, why does this grown adult woman love malls? She's not 13. She's not a stereotypical 13 year old. There's a lot of malls down here. That came out of fucking nowhere. What are you talking about? I'd be so embarrassed. I I hope he got off. You know what? You know what? He got off of the phone during this one. And he was like, uh, you know, all that went pretty well. Yeah, that, that was pretty smooth. Way to go, Lauren. Nice job. I, I think I really reeled her in there. I would get off the phone. I'd be like, oh, my God, that was so embarrassing. You know when you have a bad conversation with someone that you're trying to, like, start a relationship with? And you're like, oh, Jesus Christ. That blew it. That I'm done. That blew it. He doesn't He doesn't have that self-reflection skill. He, th- he thinks he's nailed it. 
that help with what? Sell her on what? It helps sell you a little bit. <laughs> I'm reaching you. Tell me oh, what they pitch oh, this video. Oh, I know what you're up. talking about. Okay. <laughs> Tell me yeah, what they pitch this there's video. There's a mall here. There's a mall everywhere. All everywhere. <laughs> uh, okay, here, here's something else to tell you. It's so embarrassing. The, the, the white population is greater than oh, here the it is. black or Hispanic population. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I, I'm so glad that we got more content. Of course. I'm so glad. That blue boy didn't just hang up the fucking phone. Dude, what? Like, any any regular person. If I was talking to someone, they went, Ooh, the white population just being the black population. I'd be like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? I'd be so offended that they thought that I was racist. I'd be like, what did I do to make you think that I was racist? What are you talking about? I, who gives a shit? What, why, why is that a selling point to you? And even as a joke... Why would you think that that would be a selling point to me? Why did you assume that I was racist? What is this? What 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 is this? Are the rest of the people around where you live like that? Sounds really fucking shitty. Sounds like you got a lot of racist redneck assholes around where you live, Lorne. What the fuck is wrong with you? Hang up immediately. Immediately. That's it. N block their number. Never talk to this person again. What the fuck is that? The, the, the white population is bigger than... What? What are you talking... You don't know me! Why are you, you racist dog whistling to me right here? And not even... It's not even a dog whistle. It's just blatant racism. What? Why? Why? What? What's... I don't get it. What's the selling point? Are, are they... Are the white people like you? Because fuck that. I don't want to live there. And he's trying to win her over here. I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm trying to say here. Fucking ridiculous. <laughs> See? That ought to sell you right there. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why was that funny to you? I has a lot of Hispanic people. S good! Yeah. Why, why does that matter? Um, well, I'm gonna go make dinner, okay? I hope uh, he felt like I'll such a piece later. of shit after that. Okay. Alright. All right. Bye. Bye. All right, well, episode 60. Hello? Ku Klux Klan. What's up the attitude? The attitude? The attitude is you fucking pulling bullshit on me. Make, make me drive all the way to fucking Portland for stupid shit. I hope, I hope that this was in order. I hope that he had to drive all the way to Portland at like 2 a.m., which is two hours away from him, and take his mother's car and Casey has a child. I hope that this was a direct result of like that last bullshit. There's malls up here. The white population is bigger than the Hispanic population. I hope that this is a, a, a like universe punishment. Like it just so happened to work out that uh, Casey was able to fuck with him in this way immediately after. Funny. Huh? I was not working for Xavier. It was a funny prank. You work for Xavier? That's not a funny fucking prank. What do you mean? You didn't laugh? Yeah. Yeah, buddy, I'm going to be at O'Hare tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., so get down there at around 4, all right? I drove I tried texting hours. you, but I think you blocked me. I drove two hours. I drove two fucking hours. Oh, no. From here. Down Did you run to any Hispanic people on? You. you gave me a false fucking ticket. A false? Went so far as to fucking draw the ticket up. So it looked like it fucking was fucking real. <laughs> All you gotta do is pipe it up. Yeah, you, you obviously didn't give a shit about anything about me. Obviously. Doing that kind of stupid shit. I was fucking tired. If I would have gotten in an accident. I, I, don't, I don't know the legalities of this. So I'm glad that they didn't. But oh fuck. Wouldn't it have been great if they sent him to like Boston? Or somewhere out of state, you know? Like, Lauren, I'm gonna be there, I need you to pick me up. I got I got a layover or a flight back in like an hour, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take off on that unless you come and pick me up and I'll stay for a week. Come on, Lauren. You know, tempting him to break the law. I think that'd be like an accessory to a crime or something. Um, I guess they could claim like uh oh, I didn't know. I d I didn't know that he wasn't supposed to leave the state. You know, something like that. But 
it's probably still illegal, but still, it would have been so great. And then they, they'd have, you know, the airport would have CCTV footage of him at the airport, um, you know, breaking his probation. What, do you, what the fuck are you doing out of state, Lauren? Well, Casey, Casey Morrow said that she was going to come see me. And then they check his phone logs and it'd be, you know, not Casey Morrow. <laughs> be like, Lauren, are you just making this shit up? All right, we're going to have to take you back. Uh, we're going to have to take you back to prison, Lauren. I could have hurt innocent fucking people. All right, yes. There's a lot of people on the road, I'm saying. Yeah, we're bringing you pizza. How much did you really put into that? Well, not much, because earlier in the day, you were like, oh, you're flying up here, right? And I was like, yep. And you just went with it, so I thought it was funny. There was nothing funny about it. I thought it was pretty funny. What time did you get home? I got home two hours later. So you drove a total of, like, four hours. What's so funny about that? It's, it's hilarious, dude. I didn't wait long. I you didn't wait long. Did you even manage to look for me? Huh? Did you what, even why do you think all this is funny? Why do you think this is so funny? Because you're home and you're safe and nobody's hurt, so it's funny. There's nothing funny about it. It was stupid. I thought it was funny. I, I really, oh. I'm floored that you did that. I like being humorous. <laughs> it, it, Something well, to do. That doesn't sound anything like your kind of humor. That sounds exactly like no, her kind of is. humor. She's got a fucked up sense of humor, bro. Until you were gonna... Oh, relax. Relax. Oh, such a baby. No, oh, I'm gonna relax. I don't yeah, have relax. anything to fucking worry about. Oh, boy. What do you mean? Oh, he hung out, little baby bitch. Come chase me. Show me that you yeah, want me. On all night. Well, why can't we talk? I told you it was a joke. Huh? I told you it was a joke. Why are you mad? It's not a joke. That was a dumb. He sang country music in the car, Bunny. Come on. Come on. He sang country music all the way down there. I do, oh man, I, I, oh fuck, could you imagine being in that car? <laughs> you know, you say you want to be friends, <laughs> he's just singing all the way down. <laughs> no idea, right, no, no idea. He really thinks she's going to be there, finally, oh my god, he had to go and get his mom's car. He had to go and get his mom's car. Mom, can I borrow your car? My girlfriend's finally coming up, and then he had to bring his mom's car back. Mom, Mom, sorry, sorry I had to borrow your car, but she didn't come up. So, some happened. I wonder how he explained it to his mom. Uh, so, so much gold is is just you know is, is right here for the taking, um, and and we can't. Uh, we'll never know. We'll never have those uh, those interactions. Unfortunately, it's sad. It's sad. Honestly, I'm sad. How hey, Duchess. Thing anybody's ever done like that. Hey, Pee Wee's burnt pizza. There it was, was a joke. I thought you. What? It was a goof. It was, it was a gaff. It was hilarious. Well, you drove several hours why wasn't it fun for nothing. You? That's hilarious. You know why it wasn't funny to me? That was bullshit. It might not have been funny to you, it but it's funny to me. Stop being mad. Stop being a baby. Oh, I'm not gonna stop being fucking mad. He's in the bathroom. You did that stupid shit. When you know that probation reads all the text. So? They're going to think it's funny, too. Oh, I, pr I promise you, probation laughed yeah. about this. Well, it's not like you left the state or anything. What's the big deal? The gorilla mobile? Stop it. Stop yeah. it. That it's not like you had to leave the state or anything, so what's the big deal? <laughs> well, how's it make you look? Casey, I had to drive a very uncomfortable vehicle. It's designed for a gorilla. It's me. Oh, I don't... I don't care. They don't know me. There are bananas everywhere. How, how do you think it makes you look to me? <laughs> she doesn't well, fucking care. I'm an adorable prankster now. An incurable prankster. So, and I mean so little to you that you so can much fucking so. do a prank like that and send me out fucking two hours out of the way after having no sleep. Evidently. So I'd have to drive two hours back. To four hours. To four yeah. and a half. How long did you wait at the airport? I didn't wait long. I went Why? I around to look for you and I couldn't find you. Why did you I, go in? in the yard, no, because I had your fucking text. Why did you park? Well, you blocked me, so I Just can't pick her up. What gate? Oh, well. 
Oh. Oh, well. You fucked that one up, this girl. Well, her, her plan worked. She got you. Huh? I fucked what up? You fucked that one up. Fuck what one up? I just unblocked you, and then you pull stupid shit like that. So now you're blocked again. What you're talking what to me? What do you mean? Why do you keep blocking me? <laughs> See, that was payback for blocking me. There, no, there's no payback for blocking. <laughs> no payback for any fucking bullshit that you can do. You just relax. Well, Being such a baby. I'm not going any further until you show up at my Why are you mad at me? You know why I'm mad. Well, just tell me what's wrong. How can I make it better? I don't have to explain it. How can I make it better? Go up in my fucking door. Did you have your polygraph today? Huh? Did you have your polygraph today? Is that why you're mad? No, I'm, I'm not even going to tell you about any, any appointments I have for anything. You got sand in your vagina, Laura? Oh Lord? my god, Laura. I thought you were thinking... Go to the beach today? Well, you see more not shower properly afterwards? Is that what's going on? And all that shit than anything else. You care so much about me that you send me down to fucking... Two hours away to the airport to get you and you're not even there. What do you want to talk about? That's how much you care about me. He is. Oh, I, he was so... <laughs> I don't want to talk about anything. humor in it. It's pretty funny. It is really so funny. Ross go back in, I'm going back to bed and going back to sleep. Maybe just stay up for the day. Did you sleep when you got home? Did nope. you cry? What do you do? I do wonder um, how long he stayed at the... Um, or he waited at the airport. Because, like, you know... Sometimes it takes a minute. Sometimes flights are delayed. I've gone to the airport to pick people up, and it's been, like, you know, close to an hour that I've been waiting. You know, they, they're like, dude, I'm still on the runway. You know, hold out for a minute. I've been sitting there for, like, an hour. You know? That that shit happens. I mean, if she wasn't texting him back, then leave. But, you know, you, you gotta wait a decent amount of time. Like, picking somebody up at the airport, you don't just fucking leave. You know? I bet, I bet he pulled... I... I I guess I don't know Portland's airport. Portland seems like, a, you know, I, to have an airport, you got to be like a decent sized town. So I don't know. Maybe it's one of those situations. There's one um, that's close to where I used to live. That was like a pretty small airport. Um, and you can just like walk inside immediately. There's no security to like get inside of the airport and there's very minimal parking. Maybe it's like that. And he went inside and he just looked around and he saw the people getting off the plane. Maybe... But, I don't know. I think he just pulled up. He saw that Casey wasn't standing out there waiting for him. And he went home. <laughs> With his frozen pizza. I did everything I had to do. We'll see. You had a fine day. I didn't let your stupid bullshit get in the way of what I had to do. See, that was the problem. Yeah, see? Casey got day. a laugh. And you got fucked with a little bit. Everybody wins. Do you still want to talk to me or no? Casey, your ass is going to have to show up at my fucking door before I go any fucking further with you, with you at all. Well, that's not going to happen. Okay, okay. so you're, so you're saying you don't want to text anymore and call? No, I'm not. I'm not unblocking you until you're at my fucking door. Well, then I guess bye. I'll okay, talk to you on I'll talk to you on this phone. Oh, okay. As long as you stop your stupid fucking bullshit. Okay. Uh, it's not going to last forever. I'm not waiting around for you. Okay, then yeah, go know. go date Jen from Walmart, Lauren. You fucking brought it was all a funny joke. I'm sorry you're mad. Brought all this stupid fucking shit on. Fuck. Yeah, I guess I did it to myself, didn't I? No. Did you yeah, you did. You're happy by doing it? Did I make Xavier happy? Why would I know you think I'm talking to Xavier? Jesus Christ. Well, is that some stupid shit that Xavier would think up? How, how do you, where, how did you come to that conclusion? Okay, well, no, I didn't tell Xavier. Right. You're eating. Right. You want me to kind of even come close to fucking believing what you're telling me now? Show up at my fucking door. I'm not coming to any airport to get you. What about Bangor? 
Nope. Nope. I don't even think you should bang door. She never even meant to do it. Right to my fucking door. Stupid oh, bullshit. Jesus. Suck all your stupid bullshit, Xavier. Two, two hours out of the fucking way just to drive back tired as hell. Another two hours. Two hours. You were gonna have to drive back anyways. Yeah, come on, Lauren. Doesn't matter. Matters a little bit. Have you right here with me? I was, ex I was expecting to fucking... Well, your life's been a huge disappointment, so it's prepared you for this. I was expecting to show probation you weren't playing a game. Were you expecting to get laid? Just so it turns out that you were playing a game. Just so it turns out he was a playing a game. Prank. No, that's not a prank. That's a game. What's the difference? Were you expecting to get laid yesterday? Some robots, bunny. My mother's trying to keep her mouths down on her car. Then why do you take her car, idiot? Yeah, asshole. Take your truck. I couldn't make it down there. Alright. Well, better truck. My better truck. It's your fucking fault. It's, it's your right fucking fault. Your fault. You could have taken your truck. You didn't have to take mom's car. The whole fucking thing was your fault, Casey. Take responsibility for it. You and Jamie aren't taking responsibility for your shit. Is this during the throuple? Jamie's fucking real. Well, you're not taking responsibility for your shit. Yeah, I am. I think we all should take turns taking responsibility. Yeah, well. You start. You take responsibility and show up at my door if you want anything to happen. Okay. Oh. Um, as of right now, you don't want to, like, text or talk on the phone anymore until I show up? I'll, I'll talk on the phone to you a little bit, because I'll be civil. I'm probably being too nice by fucking... by saying that I will. Too nice or too desperate? The stupid part of me wants to believe you. Just a joke. It's not a joke, Casey. Then why you was I... Again, I again, on. semantics, okay? You didn't find it funny. You didn't appreciate the joke. Okay? She thought it was funny. It was a joke to her. It's semantics again. He can't accept that someone else has a different viewpoint than him. She thought it was funny. You didn't. You know, suck a dick. Suck. Go, go grab Lamandre. Put it back in your mouth. Okay, Lauren? You, you know what I have to fucking deal with. Now how do you think my family's looking at you? No one gives a shit. Hey, my fucking word, this girl was fucking do this kind of shit to him? Blocking me is not a joke. You blocked me for four days. It was revenge. I don't know. How's that really, how do you really think that, that looks as far as how you care about me? She doesn't care! What do you mean? How do you think that looks as, as far as, as as the way you care about me? How do you think she, that looks? She doesn't care about you. what do you mean and you just repeated yourself? Okay, because the words... I thought we talked about it together. I thought you would have gotten home and been like, Oh, my goodness. You just pulled a cute little prank. The words speak for itself. How does it look as far as how you care about me doing something like that to me? How does it look? Um, you blocked me for four days. How does that show you care about me? Casey, me blocking you for four days didn't do that kind of fucking damage that you did. Emotional damage. Hey, generic Puerto Rican male. You and Jamie just seem to want to keep fucking putting more stress on me, so... Shush. But you don't want to take responsibility for that. You just want to throw your stupid fucking words out there. Make sure you get your words in. Something to make me look fucking bad. You gotta make Lauren look bad. That's our number one goal. Oh my god. I thought we'd laugh about it. Casey, I Lauren. believed you. Okay, I Lauren. believed you. I believed you, and everybody else put up with my shit because I believed you. <laughs> well, what do you that's, mean? You're that's not, know, right? that's not her fault that you were giving other people shit. That's not her fault. It's yours. Why were you doing shit? If they said, hey, Lauren, this person's probably fucking with you, stop talking to her, and you fought against them, that's not her fault now. Everyone told you that this was fake, 
and you didn't listen. That's your faults. Take accountability for your fucking faults, Lorne. Uh oh. Come on, there we go. She knows now. What'd she say? She can't be mad. She probably thought it was funny too. Not happy. Oh, she thinks Lord. All, you, all you've done is, is, is fuck around me and she thinks you're part of that fucking group. Oh, goodness. Why would she think that? That's ridiculous. Oh, Roy thinks that same thing? Oh, no, not Roy. Oh, no, I really. You're an alcoholic, dumb idiot brother. There we go. Oh, what? At least he would have liked you. I don't like him. I don't care if he likes me. He's a drunk idiot. Defend your brother, Lauren. Oh, he's still my brother, and I still love him. You don't love him. You let him live at your mom's house when she has cancer, when he could be staying in one of your eight additional rooms. I, I've he's never. stupid shit. I've never understood why Roy gets nothing and Lauren gets, you know, a free trailer. I get that Lauren can't live with his mom, so maybe that's part of it. But I've never understood why Lauren gets shit and Roy doesn't. Like, he, Lauren is so fucking spoiled. Uh, like, in terms of his family dynamic. I, I, I don't know if any of his other siblings got a free place to live and a free plot of land. I don't, I don't know about that. Hey, Allison. Like that when you don't know what's going on. Or actually, you do know I what's know. going on. I already fucking told you, but you don't want to listen to me. You just exactly. want to try to say something to me bad. So, whatever. Was Roy rubbing it in your face or something? No. Because you stoned up to bone him? No, he just said, I'm sorry that happened to you. No, he didn't. Oh, well, actually, sense. Roy's sweet. He, he might have said that. Yeah. At least sweet to Lauren. So what's up? How was your day? <laughs> it was long and tiring. Oh yeah, what happened? Yeah, you actually had to work today? I had a lot of shit that I had to do. But I had to take care of. You start work tomorrow though, right? No, actually waiting until Thursday. Oh, so he's, okay. he's not even working. He had a long not day, bad. but he's not working. I think the truck's done now, but they want How much dirt do you think he moved around his lawn? Just to make sure that the mechanic has everything done with the truck. So. Lauren, you the... have no sense of humor. I thought you liked Facts. being humorous. Casey, I have a sense of humor, and I have a damn good sense of humor hmm. when it's something that is funny. Oh. Doing, that, doing that to someone, someone, that's not funny. You don't think it'd be funny to, like, send Xavier somewhere and, and have him show up somewhere and he's just, like, there and no one's no. there to see him? You don't think it'd be funny? <laughs> Lauren would love yeah, it. If, they, if this shit, if that happened to Roy, he would be laughing his ass off. Lauren would love it. And, and he'd bring it up for years. Anytime in the future that Roy was talking to somebody on the phone, Lauren would be like, Roy, remember when that happened? You gonna let that happen to you again? Jesus fucking Christ. Roy, you, you are not 10! You're not the Incredible Hulk, Roy! Fuck you! He'd be yelling at Roy. He'd love it when he's sitting with Aunt Sharon and Mama Gwen at the kitchen table, gabbing with the gals. You know, he'd bring it up every time. Remember when Roy, when that woman sent Roy to the airport at 2 a.m.? And she weren't even real. You guys remember that? Unbelievable. Roy needs to get his shit together. Can't believe Roy's fucking falling for that shit. You know he would be loving every second of it if it was Roy. And you know what? Maybe Roy really did say, Lauren, I'm sorry that that happened to you. You know? I'm so More accurately, I'm sorry that this keeps happening to you. And Lauren was probably an asshole. Yeah, well, Roy, your sorry's not going to bring her here. Your sorry's not going to make these people stop fucking with me, Roy. Fuck you. Fucking asshole. He's the worst brother in the world. And Roy's an asshole too, sure. But like, at least Roy's trying to be nice to him, you know? That's a risk. Who's flying? To put somebody on the road that doesn't need to be on the road, especially if they're fucking tired. 
Oh, then you, then people. you should have made the decision to not be on the road. You should have gone, hey, I can't pick you up. Too sleepy. Can't do it. You're going to need to get a taxi to Cornville or a hotel for the night. I'll pick you up tomorrow morning if you're still in town. You know? You should have made that decision. It's not her fault that you made a bad decision, asshole. <laughs> Thanks, Allison. I, I do what I can. This is me savage. This is me just normally. This is me, you know, when you're taking too long to make my sandwich at Subway. You know, you're a fucking asshole, and I bet you'd be laughing if your brother suffered a horrible tragedy. You bitch. Make my sandwich. Thank you. This is me at Subway. Come on now. Cornville at 2 in the morning. Okay, how about the interstate? What about it? You shouldn't drive tired in any, in any case, though. Yeah, that's your decision. So, then why'd you send me down there? Why'd you I go? I need such a wet blanket. You knew better. Stop being such a boo I thought punch. you knew better. Well, apparently I didn't because I believed you. Lauren, you can't what? text while you're on an airplane. What the fuck did I know? I don't fly. And they're not called stewardesses. They're called don't flight care. attendants. Don't care. You should <laughs> care. Makes you sound well, like you're 90 years old. I don't care. What the fuck do I care about what they call them now for? Well, just what to be really accurate. Stewardess. Yeah. Who cares about knowing what words are? I don't fucking fly anyway, so I don't use the words. It's offensive and outdated because flight attendants can be men now, and you're saying stewardesses. So and how come you don't fly? I bet, I, I bet if flight attendants were still like, you know, 1960s flight attendants and they wore that like little costume with the short skirt and they had to, you know, bring you the food or whatever. I bet Lauren would save up all of his money and buy like a lifetime pass and just fly constantly to just have women bringing him shit and having, he'd, he'd ring the bell, you know, the stewardess thing. He'd be like, uh. Yeah, oh, sorry. Well, well, well I were going to tell you something, but I forgot. Five seconds after they leave, boom, ring it again. He would love that. He would fucking love that. It's people like him <laughs> that are why there needs to be uh, male flight attendants, you know? And male nurses and, and, ma and, ma and men in, like, those fields. Because Lauren would just fucking love that. He would, he would love it. He's flying. Well, then how are you going to get to California? Watch a movie from the 1960s kind of time. Things now, these days? You'll see. They're called You'll vehicles. see. Uh, You're going to drive your mom's vehicle? Your vehicle can't make it to the fucking airport. Anyway, you shouldn't say stewardess. Well, it doesn't matter. Yes, it does. It matters it's a little bit. Well, it never was when I flew before. In 1994? When was the last time you flew a plane, like 1993? Ooh, I was close. Uh, uh, it's been a long what? time. Are you going to take your mom's car to California? Great question. <laughs> you going to stop saying stupid fucking shit? That's a valid question. You couldn't even drive your car Probably to the airport. Probably not. We'll see. By the sounds of it. Yeah. It's fucked up, Casey. It's fucked up. Sir, it's It was funny. There was nothing funny about it. I think later on, you're going to look back on yesterday and you're going to think it's funny. When Me you too. tell, like, your grandkids or something in the future. No. There's nothing about that that I can laugh about. I like how she said well, your grandkids right now, and not ours. Upset, but in the future, you're going to think it's funny. Came up with that plan with you. Jamie? Oh Who God. came up with that plan with me? Yeah. You think I can't think of things by myself? I need a woman's help? Well, That's I, offensive. I figured that somebody helped push you into fucking doing that to me. No, Jamie thought it was mean. But you think it's funny? No, she did not think it's funny. She told me it was a mean thing to do. But you think it's funny? I thought it was yes. funny. I'm on Team Casey here. Someone that you supposedly care about. 
normal to do that to someone that you supposedly care about. Well, I feel like that all the time. Like, I'll put Jamie's hand in water while she's sleeping. Mm hmm. Girl, why is Jamie up there with you now? See, so you do that all the time. Something you're not telling me? She didn't say that. She said, I would do that. Yeah. Like, Jamie I've done that once. Here. Whatever. What do you mean, whatever? Are you happy about that? It's so hot out right yeah, now, everyone. I don't everyone. know if I can believe you or not. Oh. Uh. Right, Chupa. There's just one hitch in his plan to have grandchildren. You gotta have children first. You gotta have a date first. I do know that I'm going back to sleep. So, you have a good night. Oh, thank hey. you, too. You, uh, Didn't eat. If you want to have any part of us fucking Chinese any part of us fucking? No, thank you. Okay, well, that too. If you want to have any part of us trying to fucking make something? You gotta say fucking every other word. It's very gross. You're fucking right, I do. Oh my god. If you want anything to happen between us? Between us. You, you and me. Out and get your ass out yes. of here, I'm not Can you wash your enough. mouth? Why do you have to cross every other word? Because you do. Right? <laughs> okay. Want anything to happen with us? We can hurry the fuck up and get out of here. Get out of here. Stop cursing so much. And you're gonna have to show up at my door because I'm not going anywhere. That reminds me, uh, I was listening to a call recently, and it led off with, like, a, a, a cut of, uh, you know, Lorne saying weird things. And at one point, he was like, you're going to have to pay for all of it. I'm not paying for any of it when he was talking to Ramona. And my jaw dropped. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Okay. Well, I imagine that's really going to happen. Alright, well, I'll talk to you later. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Alright, bye. Bye. Alright, so that was call 60. I'll probably be back next Saturday with call 61 through 70. We're really zooming through these. Maybe I'll do something else next Saturday, you know? Maybe I'll do uh, some different calls. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um. And also, I was just playing this uh, Spider Man game at the end of this, and that reminded me that. Uh, Spider-Man 2 is supposed to come out next month-ish, I think October 20th, and I'm going to be, like, binging it all weekend, so I'll probably, um, like, stream a bunch that weekend, and that would be a great time to do, like, some, uh, some call-in stuff, like, have other people call in with, like, their favorite call, and we can listen to it together, because I'll be streaming for, like, it's, I don't know how long the game's going to take me to beat, but I'm going to play it for, like, 40 hours that weekend, so... You know, we'll see. But, yes, if you're interested in potentially doing, like, a call-in style thing, um, I'll probably be doing that on my Discord. That's why I made it. So, if you're interested, click on that link. If not, that's cool. Uh, I might stream sometime this week. We'll see. You know, you'll see. If my stream pops up, you'll see. I don't know why I'm being so... Whatever. Uh, all right. Our closing song is uh, courtesy of Kozantin. So, Kozantin, shout out you, bro. I will see you guys when I see you guys. Bye bye. Now here she come walking, looking like a zoo. Hi, hey, Ella. Hi, Ella Guru. She know all the colors that nature do. Hi, Ella. Hi, Ella Guru. Hi, Ella. Hi, red. Hi, blue. She blue. Hi, Ella. Hi, Ella Guru. She do what she mean and she do what she do. Got something for me. Got something for you. She show something.
right, right, just dig it. That's right, the mascara stay fast and bulbous, tight also. 